Ready? Yay! Yay! It's time, it's time, it's time, it's time! Brenda, as yeah. I told you many times, yeah. you must exude boredom I on refuse. this channel. I cannot. I don't have it in me. Look at this. Look at her. Welcome Look at to our stream of is. the... I was going to name a different space don't. company. Jupiter 18. I'm so angry with you right now. <laughs> Good. How very dare you? Saturn um, 5. Saturn 5. Saturn 5. I'm, I'm wearing, so I'm wearing this sweet shirt that I got from Bopro. That is a sweet shirt. Cones of Dunshire. I'm wearing my Good Vibes Mr. Rogers t-shirt, so what? everybody's doing oh, great. Oh, and I kept the sticker on. <laughs> I, I actually thought that was part of the shirt. Whoa! Wild. Shirt unboxing. Sh shirt unstickering. On unboxing day. Today, the glorious unbox. And is it a World very build happy day? unboxing day? I thought it was B World Build Day. It's Lego Build Day. Lego. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Don't put that box far because we might have to. We already got a hashtag GoPro. Hashtag GoPro. Oh no, Scotia shirt. <laughs> Oh, this. I love, we set up the camera. 11. Please stop squi squishing the bags. I'm trying to tell them about. Shh. Tell them about your shirt. <laughs> wrong co-host. She's not listening. To wrong co-host. Um, um, I'm, I set up the camera so that if it's below on the previous one, you can see the cones of Dunshire. Oh, nice. And also your great colors right now. Let's look at the congruence of color scheme between your hat and your shirt. Uh, this uh, this hat design, it's actually been on for a little while. I like that one. Is a tribute to uh, to one Peter, who's in the chat right now, who gave me some juggling balls for Christmas. I haven't juggled in a long time, and so that I can I maybe you'll get a, a chance today. Obviously, I could juggle five balls immediately, so that was good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, don't start with the, bag eight. Brenda. I'm putting them in order in a very reasonable fashion. All right, so let's get through all the administrative tasks we need to do. Okay. We'll be building Lego Ideas set number 92176. This is a re-release of a Lego Ideas set that was so popular that once it went out of print, they brought it out of retirement with a different set number. Because space is the coolest. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I don't think there are any major changes or even in, maybe in like the colors underneath you don't see or something Look at like how that. nice all of the like illustration. We're going to bust this open. And you can open that. Get to look at it. I can open this. Um, uh, it's going to be glorious. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe to I'm Bored Toys. Share. Follow on Instagram, etc. Boom. Done. Look at you. Now find bag one. <laughs> Chaos! Oh, I found it. <laughs> oh, did you? That was a great. That actually worked out beautifully. See? So this set fine. has. Oh, nice work, Peter. Peter and I spent hours and hours and hours juggling. Juggle today. Only two balls, but I killed it. Huh? Good for yeah, you. I was the best. So like a prerequisite to friendships with you I was before so good. now to like no, it, you be can't able juggle. to juggle. No, absolutely. But that's not. why I call you an acquaintance. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Really, we're more coworkers now because this is as close to working <laughs> this as work we get. Yeah. This is as close as we As get. soon as you call it work, I don't want to do so it. So excited. I quit. Uh, I'll do it myself. I don't care. If you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. life. We work because Except for work those really stressful days when you still have to do the paperwork. We're not working at and all. And then I do the paperwork. You. <laughs> Paperwork's the worst. <laughs> the worst. Um, okay, so this, this set has 12 bags, and it's a big set, so it'll either take two or three streams. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes today. But we and have, it's using a lot of techniques that you said I've never done before. I'm pretty sure. I haven't done Yeah, but you're not going to build anyway. Yeah, I will a little bit. Mostly Kevin's going to do the things that... So this was... We could even say this was a Christmas gift for me because I have a deep love of all things related to outer space. And look at how mindfully and carefully you're opening that. That's very polite. Uh, but also, it's a set that's like way above my skill level. So part of the gift is that you're going to build it and I'm going to, you know, pop in and out when I want to be helpful. So this says, what does it say? Where is 14 it? plus, which is like 14. four that means times you need my skill level. 14 plus? That means you need 14 or more Brendas. Yeah, absolutely. To complete this. You need five of them to within be a reasonable time. sedated at minimum in order for it to... What What did we say? We average like 300 pieces an hour? We average 300 an hour when we're talking and stuff. And when you're by yourself, how many pieces? I don't know. I can go count those. Probably like four I did film some, times that many. I did film some building of that treehouse. You tree should house. tell me. I'd be curious to know. Well, I, yeah. I got bored after... You? I, I filmed the first six bags got of the treehouse. bored? 
And then, well, I, I did, I had to keep taking my phone off and on and stuff. I'm just going to get a camera. Look so how cool video. this. Okay, so Kevin, uh, yes. today, do you think the first couple bags, because I don't really understand how it's broken down, is it going to be this, the base, probably? Like it'll show you from pic- bottom to It'll top? show you pictures. They always show okay. you. I want to know like what chunk. I want to be able right. to visualize what chunk so, I mean, we're going to build. Um, can you put the camera on the, okay. So if you don't know this about Lego instructions, right before you start, they're like, okay, here's how the build is going to progress. So oh, it's like got bags, it, got it, got it. one, two, three, four, five, and six. I can't tell where I'm at. Yeah, no, you did it right. So we are um, basically going to be building like the bottom half. It'd be great if we could get through this. Yeah. And then um, seven, eight, nine, and 10 will be this. And then, yeah, that'll be nice. And but, then the fuselage and the, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. So how many pieces is this, 2,000? 2,000, just shy, 1969. So six, oh my gosh. Is that's, it right? Yeah, 1969 though. That's the <gasps> year they landed on the moon. Oh, thank you, Lego. They Your always do that. little Easter eggs. They do, they do. I, I love when they do you. stuff with peace counts. I see you. They also put little shout outs to the creators that you taught me about, like they'll be yeah, their yeah. initials or something. The peace count, like. the peace count on the Lego Hogwarts castle yeah. was um, the set number of this like really famous old wizard lego set that's great which was really really awesome imagine just being brilliant enough to develop these sets but also having the bandwidth to also yeah. think about how can we be funny well you just add, add one shape. more stud you yeah. know there like you go. we should there's probably one really important feature that's missing because they didn't add one more piece probably yeah okay. they're probably like part of it is just a really weak construction and can fall apart at any moment but you know that's space travel for you all right so one thing is we can either build or look at the instructions. I guess those are our options. Uh, I want to, I just want to look briefly at okay. this beautiful book. You look briefly. I'll organize the bags organize so that we can the be bags. quick later on. That's lovely. Uh, everyone's doing something they're very well suited to in that I am excited about the visuals and Kevin is making practical choices for the well-being of the build. So first things first, I learned a very important lesson when we build, what set had the black instructions and I hated it? Which set was black instructions? Uh, the elf Not house. the shipwreck. The oh, elf the elf house. house. So, aesthetically gorgeous uh, instruction booklet, but the black background turned out to be a nightmare to actually do. And it was a little bit concerning because this looks like, you know, it's kind of like a slick, cool looking booklet. So it looks like it could potentially do that as well. But instead, the beginning of the booklet has all this beautiful information and like schematics and stuff I freaking love schematics but then when you get to the actual build uh let's all take a moment and thank lego for putting the instructions on this nice bright blue background that's easy to see we can read everything that's on here oh colin says a lesser man would make a challenger lego set joke there a lesser man he would never so first of all, we're going to be able to read the instructions, which... We don't do puns on this website. <laughs> on this website? It's we're a on website. The, on, on the, the website, website. On the web tubes. If you go to www.youtube.com slash... I'm so pleased. Um, I own onboardtoys.ca and .com. Ready for anything. But there's nothing on there. Okay, so we're in bag one. Oh, I should put it under construction with a little picture of a <gasps> Tonka truck. Or not a Tonka truck. A little... Uh, yeah, Lego we should truck. make a little animation. Why did I say Tonka truck? Because, you know, it's an exciting day. A lot has happened already. I'm dumping out bag one. Eee! Um, what else was I going to say? Can we see this nicely? Let's be realistic. We'll put Who that cares? close to you. Who cares? Who cares? Dive in. Head first. Let's uh, just go crazy. Do you know what I love about the fact that Space. I've been doing this for a little while? What? Like, people that I know... Um, either really well or not even that well. Mm. Just send me messages if they have gotten Lego sets. <gasps> and they're That's like, oh, I'm awesome. building this. This is great. And oh, uh, it's fantastic. So, my like, heart. Yeah. Send us all your Lego builds. I get to see some of that stuff when Kevin gets tagged. So, uh, anytime you make a build, I will definitely want to see it. That thrills me to know. And look, we thank goodness we have another Lego tool. So, I guess I'll try to. Um, thank you, Ashley. Oh. Pro for the win. All um, we're gonna talk about my mother. So we got a few. We've got a few gifts that we got that are gonna be really interesting for you to see. Oh, it's gonna be so. I've got I've got some in the background here that are uh, amazing that my these people got for me. It's gonna be lovely. We have a lovely uh, little lineup of things planned. So if you're not already subscribed, you probably want to get on that train sooner rather than later. Um, 
Oh, wow. Off. We're up to seven concurrent viewers. That may be a new record. Be cool. I think six was last week. What? <laughs> okay, play cool. Play cool. <laughs> just, uh, I'm just going to go to YouTube on my uh, computer over there. We're and, already uh, doing this studs not on top. I'm learning so much about what? snot technique. It's true. This whole thing is going to be studs on side. This is one of the things the that, part. like, so when we first started doing these builds, one of the things that I am obsessed with about Lego is that it's like this visual shorthand and we were talking about there's a designer that I really like who has a little pot of Lego bricks that he uses to like turn things in the world into like tiny miniature what's representations. His, what's his name? Uh, oh, I'd have to look mind. it up. I can't remember. Sorry. That's okay. I will find it. I assume that would have, that would be at the forefront of your ne Never. Names are never at the forefront, which is unfortunate. And That's he... okay, Bertha. <laughs> Thanks, Clark. <laughs> but... The when we're building stuff that doesn't look like the thing that it is right away, that is a whole new way of using my brain, and it's super fun. But it takes a little bit of effort. It's a little bit, a little bit confusing, but I can do it. The worst part of you're not gonna love all the, all the stuff because on you're gonna love the final product, but the yes. process you're not gonna love. Well, this is part of why I like that. I got this set as a Christmas gift, partially so that we could live stream it because I want this thing built and hanging from the ceiling of my studio, but I do not want to be solely responsible for every part of this build. I do not want that. It does not sound fun to me. But what you are gonna like and what everyone else is gonna like is how nice the lighting looks because we had a sweet new light too. Your lighting we've been is getting some, uh, spectacular. We're, we've been having so much fun doing this. Well, you're, so we're trying to make them better. And also I have to say every time you come in and sit down here to do a live stream, it's getting like more and more on the ball. But that's because you come in like five minutes before. I'm the town. No, she comes in like, you come in like 30 minutes before. I do. And it's mostly just to hang out with the puppy. It's true. We might have a moment of puppy. We, we might need you to start point. coming earlier to distract him while we set up. <laughs> Listen, I am always happy oh, to be nuts. the distraction for puppies, children, anybody else who's naturally so, do you know? Did you know, you know, puppy cam, we were talking about uh, Newton, Newton puppy cam. cam? But do you know Somebody said a that. Newton cam is, a, is like a pun because there's a, a football player named Cam Newton. Oh, is there? Re no, I did not know that. That makes it better. It does, I was yes. not aware. That, that was a suggestion of uh, of AJ and Anna and Libby and stuff. Uh, well done, AJ, Anna, Libby. Um, one of these. So one of these. we haven't looked at the uh, we haven't looked at the chat in a little while, but hi, chat. <laughs> you should get. Oh, I should get dot TV. I th there's a dot toys. Really? Yeah, there's, they made <gasps> dot toys. So I thought yeah, I'm bored that. dot toys would be funny. That but is funny. those like specialized ones are actually quite expensive compared to even dot com. Even well, though, having dot yeah. com and dot ca is good to start with. You can also <laughs> always do redirects. <laughs> Eileen Bloom is here for puppy time. <gasps> Hi, Eileen. Good Hi. to see you. How do we know Eileen? Give She's me contact. She's a linguist. Oh. She's a PhD student. Okay. Uh, at, one of your PhD students? No, no. One of my friend's PhD students. Okay. Uh, she's at Rutgers. Your support is far reaching. New Jersey. Okay, very cool. Um, sorry to tell people personal details. I hope that's, that's okay. We can always take it out of the other. It'll be worth it for the puppy. I don't know what he's doing right now. Chilling. He's he relaxing. Sleeping? He's He was on his best behavior, He's guys. sleeping. He greeted can you, me can so Can you get the calmly. camera wirelessly hooked up? Okay. Can you imagine? Bo, Bo Pro is currently um, focused on taking the iPad uh, to wirelessly connect the camera to our whole setup so that she can just switch to puppy cam anytime she wants. Have we gotten uh, so, through our every 10 minute shout out to BoPro Productions yet? Like, have well, we it should, made it clear that anytime anything works at all, yeah. it is strictly because it's unreal. Board Productions is here making it happen. She's so good. She is really good. She's the worst. Uh, and also, we just got lovely fresh coffee given to us. I know. While we're... I mean, I boiled, I boiled the water. You did boil the water. And I cleaned out the little thing. Also, I brought over my rainbow llama mug, which we'll have to talk about at some point. Could did you... I do it? <laughs> how is it? How far off? How close? Well, how far? Uh, it's about uh, 10 degrees off. <laughs> look at Look at Wait, turn it. One of the ones over here is off, is like sideways. What? Oh no! Oh, this one. Oh no, no! That, it is. That, that. Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. Angle. If you looked at it from the top, <laughs> you would see. I mean, Yay! that's fine. This will all correct itself. It's okay, Brenda. I mean, to be fair, they're only held on by a stud on the bottom. So. Well, and also the fact that I more when I do that, I'm saying like, did I put 
the actual pieces that are supposed to be attached now on to the I mean, deck. I don't know. Colin, those poor astronauts. Listen, Colin, <laughs> what they lack in safety, they will gain in joy because I am making a very reckless build, but that's why we have I'm Bored Toys here to check. You're like quality control. You're oh, like, I like this. The I like this technique. Okay, so What's what we're happening? doing, we're going to put these big like round panels on, which like normally... Oh. Normally, you don't have but they're gonna create kind of um, like a frame, and uh, oh gosh, it's like a skeleton. And this, you can put it on because we've got that stud in the center on that jumper plate there. Oh, that's so. And or the so, corner, it's the center is sitting on there, and then the corners are. Oh, I see what you yeah, mean yeah. about it's gonna so study the whole build. This thing's gonna. This this piece goes in here. Fascinating. Like, and then that, that is going on the two little. Corners. I don't know if you can see that. But. Interesting. I've never seen that before. This also, the way that this entire thing is put together is up? very... No, I don't think so. No, I'm good. It looks right. Yep. Yep. Cool. That gives me no... Yeah, if, I, if I'm... if i Kevin, I think he did great. I was... <laughs> you know for sure. I was asking myself then. Yeah, that's probably wise. Uh, I'm supporting you emotionally. I'm underlining if you think it's right. <gasps> Guys, we might soon have wireless... It's very soon. The lighting won't be good. Cam. Because... It doesn't matter, there's sleeping. a puppy in the view. The lighting doesn't need to be good when there's a puppy. It would have been last week, uh, but we don't have to have lights on in every room in the house anymore because we've got a sweet one on us right now. Also, do you guys notice how the hectic pink undertone that some might call oh. my complexion is actually much more evened out? We're looking very uh, soft lit because we've got a beautiful light box. Um, I'm Bored Productions is really stepping up the quality <gasps> guys guys can you see is it on there we yet? get to Not see yet. everything she's doing on it's the really funny. like on the like mirrored monitor that we yeah. have and she's insane ah, she's the best uh, now the frame for the video that she's gonna show you is not dog shaped. I mean, I'm a little disappointed about oh that. Oh my but... god, you are <laughs> ridiculous! I hope you got a look for next week. For next for week. For next week, I'm sure. We're very spoiled. If Kevin ever has to like guest on my channel again, or heaven forfend, Puppy someone Cam else's is YouTube live. Channel. There. Oh my god, Puppy she's so Cam. cute. No, Tom. Look at how perfect. And your pups eight weeks old now he's a baby a baby a and bit. he's so chill well yeah except when he's Very. not when but, he goes eight you know but really the fact that this is even remotely possible that he would like lay nicely and be the goodest boy he's still pretty impressive oh he's waking we've waken him we awakened him. him oh no Hi, good try buddy <laughs> Um, so I think she's trying to figure out a way to just keep that there, maybe. Or not. That's we can just switch to it anytime. Oh, now. look at him. No, he will eat that if it's there. Do you think so? <laughs> yeah, she's... Look at that. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys have the cutest dog ever now. We had a friend that just did a, like, a socially distanced delivery on our doorstep, and Newton's timing was perfect. He made a little guest appearance. Much to everybody's absolute delight. Look at, look at this. Oh, like, guys. What? How is concurrent viewers not at 87,000? Right? How can you not, does your heart not just explode when you look at that face? That little guy is amazing. And he's so sweet. He will chew your hair, particularly if you have tall hair. Like, I can't focus, Brenda. He's, I know, I, I, I understand. Him. Well, I get to, I get, he gets to eat my face. You have a baby puppy now, and your heart, therefore, travels outside of your body. Henceforth, you just have to adjust oh well but that's okay but he's i mean he, he goes it. crazy too obviously. he does yeah sometimes he's high energy but he also he's getting some extremely good training right now i have to say he's been very very well behaved while so we've been have streaming you, Brenda. thank you i did it uh yeah you know. um also right now this makes sense to me like the way this is going together logically i understand that we're building like the innards and Kevin was explaining that this build, a lot of, because it's all, I don't know, this is like tile, I guess you would call this tile where it's like smooth, there's no exposed studs on the outer build. So we're kind of like building everything that all of this will have to attach to, which my brain understands that. I understand what's happening here. There's definitely going to be points in this build where I'm not going to understand why we're doing what we're doing, but I'm okay with blind faith for now. That's cool. 
So I just changed something if people were watching. It, that's just me being super anal about the build. Where I What did you change? Tell me I didn't even Well I just it. moved this ninety degrees so that the like the split of this piece oh. is opposite of this, which is what they have here. Is that good for the structural integrity of the build? Oh actually we have the split wrong on no, Do we need to move these? We don't need to. It's only for reference points, really. It would. I would move this. this well, let's do. Yeah, why not? Should we do it? If not now. What do you want? Do you want to move the bottom or you want to move the top? I want to move the bottom. I want to pop that bottom up and and Bottom I... bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is right up there with like rhyming bottles with models. Is this a G six rocket or what? Absolutely, like a G six, like a. G I can't. You can't. Man, you can't sing that. We'll get fired. My heart. We get fired from time. YouTube. Oh no! Will YouTube fire us? Also, oh, this. No. Also, this was. Oh no! I actually I put that on there. Oh, Ellipse. Kevin. Oopsies. You're supposed, but this is out. This is wrong. Isn't that supposed to be? Anal? Yeah, that's because I. That's because I fixed it. Oh, I see. Okay. Stupid Kevin. Uh, I'd like to point out that it is very difficult to focus in any way when that perfect puppy face is just adorably curled up on the pillow. I'm going to do my best, but when we get to the more technical things. Okay, so be. this is now across with the gray here and here. So yes. all of the seams are yeah. in different. And, and this is that not going to This is not going to make any difference. No one would ever notice. There's a small chance it has some structural integrity value. Well, like that you doesn't said, for really matter, but points, though, certainly for reference points it can be to follow. Whoops. This one. I keep knocking things off. Don't do it. We have things to do. Oh my gosh, the fact that this puppy cam is on here is I love hilarious. it. I love it. Um, now they can't see the instructions as much, which I know Let's is very important. Slide this over just so you can see a little bit. The instructions, I really and truly, I am relieved to see that it's baby blue. I am relieved. By <laughs> Let's that. have a vote in the chat for puppy versus instructions. Yeah, guys, if you had to pick <laughs> one or the other, obviously Newton wins the day. Is BoPro going to recreate the famous Saturn V booster detachment shot from Apollo 13? Wow. Absolutely, AJ. We're gonna get. Listen, this is gonna be Elon Musk is quite waking right now. SpaceX is going to look upon the live stream reenactment films and immediately reach out to Bo Pro. Oh my gosh, call in. All right, we have one vote for instructions. One vote for instructions. Zero votes for. Guys, don't leave Newton hanging. Look at this perfect puppy. How could you? Also, I like that Colin is right in there. Well, purist. Colin has, Colin. Hello, Lego purist. Colin has a dog that goes nuts. Oh, really? What yeah. kind of dog do you have, Colin? Also, it what is the dog's be, it name? It looks like a lab, and his name is Birdie. Remember we Good talked name. About Birdie. Oh, yeah, we did talk about that. Birdie is a very good name. Oh, it's one-to-one one now. Puppy versus... Uh... Instructions. Also, instructions. Uh, I hear the claps in between that. Nice. Yeah. All right. This is coming along. Here we go. What's this? Oh, I see. So now that our seams are all aligned, we can proceed. Yeah, big old yellow lab. Nothing like a big old yellow. So happy Those boxing that everybody. Dog. Dogs. Um, happy boxing day. I hope everybody got a Lego set or some Lego or something. If you didn't, go to go to that closet. Find your old ones. Take them apart. Yeah, absolutely. It's If you're not building, then rebuild. You know what I thought about doing? What? Is finding some like old classic sets, which I could would never spend the money on to actually get. Right. But just build them in the in the virtual oh that'd thing. be fun little throwback i am looking little forward throwback. i am looking forward to going back idea. um when i maybe actually i'll ask my mom to just mail me some that i love the idea of doing a like a nostalgic tour of your lego sets that appeals to me i mean they're just they're in a box uh, like most this of them are so like at, at christmas last year i brought back like all the bricks that were on their own in a tub that's a great idea so i brought those back um, just to have some extras and stuff. Since then, I've accumulated a lot more extras. But um, um, also there, which I didn't bring back, was uh, was a like box, like I don't know, like a clear plastic box, you know, with a little tub. like a tub, like those Tupperware things that everybody yeah, yeah, had yeah. their toys in. Yeah. Um, of um, just like, and they're like still built, basically. <gasps> oh. There are only like a few pieces have fallen Let's off look at from that. like. We can assess my sticker placement. I from bet when I was a child, you would excel. And like I some bet of them, you would get a better some of them I me. remember getting when I lived in like in Woodstock, which was 
Uh, when I was like nine or ten. I, mean. I would love to see that. Also, I I very much enjoy. I know you're very into the new sets, but I love the nostalgia factor of some of the old classified, especially when it's like when it like predates certain colors and things. There's like really specific aesthetics to those yeah. older sets that I find fascinating and i would love to see some of the stuff that you actually built when you were a kid because it's different when you see so actual kid eileen wants to know what boxing builds. day is um it, she said for ignorant americans what is boxing day uh, i mean it's like we just call it boxing day it's just the day after christmas yeah. um in terms of like where the term came from it's, it's like kind of like our black friday i looked this it? up yeah well that's what it is now but yeah um, so board productions has pulled up the Wikipedia page for me when we and is on the etymology section figures out everything. We're L not luckily I had, I had read this exact page like just the other night. Did you really? Yeah. How much time do you think you spend down a Wikipedia rabbit hole? Not very much. Hmm. I look for very specific. So things. what's the etymology of boxing day? Did then? you say entomology? Entomology. Mostly grasshoppers. E etymology? <laughs> entomology study of insects. Etymology. It, did, you have, breakdown of right, words. We've discussed, uh, Brenna has pathological self-esteem. Oh yeah. And so it's fine for me to make fun of things. And she doesn't care if she. No, not at all. I also, I feel like it reinforces, this is how my brothers talk to me. And it's very good for me because without someone really grounding me, I would just be absolutely inseparable like you don't want this to go unchecked it's not good for anybody uh but you didn't answer my question what's the uh yeah etymology 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 yeah and you can flap the t make it a d etymology etymology not a d but a flap. what was the thing you said yesterday about when syllables get swallowed what's it called again like toronto the way that you don't remember i did we weren't about? talking about that anyway finish the boxing day um thread the i my understanding of the word the reason it comes there's a few different stories about why it's called boxing day da, 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 da. but the main one is that this is when in the uk like back in the day people would put out boxes of oh. food for okay or or like for of money or whatever or they would give a box basically it was like for charity stuff okay um they might give a box to their service workers okay um also the like churches would have had a box out front where people would put like money uh, and then that's when they would deliver the money the bottom box of money to whatever but now it's just what we call um the day after christmas and it's traditionally when canada has had their biggest sales uh, in the retail world. Right. So we um, kind of have Boxing Day. Though it's kind of morphed to Black Friday. Now exactly. Too, and... Yeah. Like we've sort of absorbed just by osmosis some of the Black Friday from the U.S. But before that, Boxing Day sales definitely were a big, and still are to a certain extent, were definitely a big thing in Canada. And I think even though they were a big thing in Canada, I still think that the way that things get crazy over like black friday generally i don't i don't know if we ever had it to that extent do you think canadians had that like it just the sales weren't i don't know i don't know if it was that extreme maybe but that's not my impression and that could just be no idea uh rose colored canadian glasses but, uh, but that's boxing day so it's no, one of those made-up well, holidays it's I usually mean, a stat though right eileen asked if we fight each other uh, she says so you don't fight each other. Only I mean, for ice time, not for large screen TVs. That's only if you celebrate Festivus. Yeah, exactly. And you have to, you have to pin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's over when you pin me. It's over when you pin me. Oh, yes. Yes. oh dear. That's how you know. That's how you know. Um, yeah, Colin says Black Friday and Boxing Day have just turned into week long events, and they're both, yeah, like they're both less nutty. And it's very they're also like. You know, they don't have as crazy sales as And they, it's kind of like one of those, it's enough of a made-up holiday that because people don't really take it that seriously, retailers are sort of free to make use of it however they want to. So one of the things that will probably happen on Boxing Day is that if you've ever been in contact with any retailer ever, they will reach out to you to tell you about their Boxing Day sale. You will get it's true. an email. Look at this crazy thing that we're making. Did you do it right? Mm, I think so. Do you mind if I assess? Uh, please do. And in particular, yeah, no, is good. this going yep. the yellow? Yep. Okay. Got the upward spiral moving uh, 
counterclockwise. We're teaching my dog to spin around both clockwise and counterclockwise. It's very important to Kevin clockwise. and also. Clockwise. I would love it because yes. then counterclockwise. I could ask Newton if he, he didn't turn. counterclockwise or clockwise. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Definitely dropping another hundred bucks or so on stream games today. Colin, what games are you getting? What are you playing? Yeah, if ever. Let's talk about yeah, it. if anyone needs, especially board game recommendations. Of like good Euro games, mm. uh, strategy, okay. good game mechanics, low luck, some luck based stuff, but you know. I love a good mix um, of luck and skill. I am so for that, but that's because my skill level is Clockwise and Wittershins. <laughs> what is Wittershins? <laughs> I've never heard it, but if, that, if that's another term for counterclockwise, I love it. Make that a command. You should be teaching new Clockwise like, and Wittershins. And people are just that's a be good like, name. Wittershins is a good Wittershins. name. Wittershins. <laughs> Shinny. Witter. And we call him Shinny for short. Oh what man! What does Witter Shins mean? And Shinny's like. I need to know more. Now. now you have to get a second dog. If for the it's ignorant the Americans out there, do. the word Shinny—that's what we call like pond hockey. Yeah. To you know, like to be not more pedantic than that. Mm. It it keeps it from taking on airs. Yeah. Can't put on airs when you're just playing. Old term for like counterclockwise. That. I love it. That's Witter Shins. wonderful. Yeah, that's very very good. I would like to know if you are aware of the etymology of Wittershins. I'd be fascinated to hear. Uh, and then this thing. Uh, so we're definitely approaching a portion of the build where I don't I got understand confused. what we're making, but that's okay. I got confused when I looked at this. Oh. Well, Wait, we're oh, oh, we're making that. a formula. I thought this we're was like one. an outer casing for this, but no, no. Oh. it's just another thing that we're going to put on top, probably. I see. So we're making this. Or this below. is like separate. What's happening right now? So That's correct. So okay. they've shown us it's in a separate, a separate box. Okay. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Good for me. Good for me. Also, I've learned over the course of um, Lego 101 with Kevin that you can't just vaguely look at what the end product looks like. It's actually Lego LOL. And <laughs> and then try to reproduce it. You have to actually pay attention a little bit more than that, which is not something my brain is naturally very well suited to, but I do find it a very good mental exercise. Nice. To have to pay attention in I'm, a way that I am ill suited to. I'm really excited it's about this game brain. that Colin has just described that he's Tell me what that it, he's playing. He said it's a bizarre progression-based RPG-ish Minesweeper game. <laughs> that is, it, I simultaneously know everything and nothing I that can, I need to. I can more or less guess what it's, is it like, I'm curious, the main thing I'm curious about is if it's like, if it's like puzzle-based or if it's like, or if it's actually like random, you're solving, you know, random things and you get like new skills and new, right. new types of clicks and or like whatever like if you're if yeah, your yeah. arsenal changes yeah. over the course of the game yeah but he said he's going to pick up a lot of the indie titles uh and what about video games you're playing any that, that here there he's talking about uh that's there, a board game, talking, yeah? No, no, no. He's talking about video Look, games. we're basically doing the exact same th the thing that Kevin was describing where there's, what is it called when the stud is in the middle like that? And we're placing it and then it's this piece in a, I call on it, a corner. I call this a jumper plate. Jumper plate because it's jumping the pattern it of the It jumps it and it puts you like in the halfway spot. So that's how to get a half unit. So we're plate. doing essentially the same thing again and like m m replicating the same, like almost to scale the exact same thing again, which again makes sense. We're still just building a skeleton right now. So far from what I can tell, relatively disaster free. I don't think anything. Well, you never figure out. Yeah, that's true. That's the type of thing that comes back to haunt you later. Speaking of being haunted, uh, today, Kevin pulled a magazine oh, cutout. Oh, threw it out. Threw it out. Did you? Well, that's probably correct, but you should have had a ceremony because we're going to be haunted forever. Uh, somehow, uh, I don't really even know how this happened, but somehow, did you, how did it? How did you? Well, we just we just end, we just ended up with Ashley's, nightmare fuel. Ashley's friend gets these magazines somehow or not specifically these ones she just ends up with random magazines sometimes from previous people yeah and, and this one is like for dolls it's like porcelain terrifying. dolls and it was pretty Listen, i mean like no shade every fandom deserves exactly space like and community if that's what you do when you're bored great awesome if you're bored but i tell steps. you they're creepy 
and you know, and the there were a lot of hotmail addresses. There in was there. a lot of hotmail addresses, a lot of dot MSN. Shout out to my sister. Nothing wrong with it, you know. Again, no <laughs> judgment, but those images were cursed. And so, so and so for our, uh, our we did friend, what we, any respectable bubble would do. We um, we cut up. We we cut out a bunch of them. It was well, our friend uncomfortable. This first cut out a bunch of them. We didn't have to watch the process. Thank goodness. And fill the card with them so they'd all fall out. Horror nightmare murder. Um, in in there was a picture of him also cut out in the same way, telling him that instead of buying him a gift, we had donated it. Yeah, because and that's like the type of thing he would want. We were doing something sweet, so we had to counteract it with exactly. something truly terrifying. Like my note in the card also is just said. Uh, you are tolerable. <laughs> Just <laughs> sincerely, neighbor Kevin. That was perfect. Yeah. What you did was perfect. I meant to tell I, you. This. I am perfect. I mean, you have your moments. You have your moments. Uh, <laughs> do you want to spot check this for structural integrity? Yes. Excellent. Look how um, cool this thing looks, guys. We're looking good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Looks good. Yeah, I, guys, it was horrifying. It was truly, truly horrifying. Uh, as for Wittershins, it's apparently a variant of Withershins. Ah. Coming from Old German for opposite and coarse. Oh, see, when you ask questions like that, there's often such a lovely, logical answer. Wittershins. Wittershins. I wish I spoke German. It's such a great language for yelling, and I love yelling. You can yell in all languages. But Brenda! It's, it's the same. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. My name is very sorry, well sorry. suited to it. Don't um, terrify your sweet puppy. The, uh, <laughs> Poor guy. That's why we have Newton cam up, so that if we get too out of hand. We, we, before we go live, we have to do a mic test to see how loud Brenda's allowed to yell, and I'm allowed to yell. I like when you yell my name before, Muppet Styles. It's funny. Before we, um, before we hit red on the mic. Yeah, we just because, need to know. Because, you know, I like to yell, Brenda! And I like it when you do that. And also, that's just how I feel all the time. <laughs> like, that's what's in my heart. Um, hi Piper. Welcome. Good to see you. Uh, Piper played board games with us in Vancouver. I like when you and provide context, it pleases me. Yeah. Good. And um, he's a professor in, I believe, I believe computer science yeah. um, out, out in that area. Lovely. Yeah. Well, Piper, your timing is impeccable. We are just rolling right along on this build and it's looking pretty fantastic so far. We're almost ready for bag two. Yeah. There, bro. Um, let me grab bag two, and while I'm there, I'm just gonna grab a bag gift. Two, bag two. Uh, that I got from my bubble, and I'll give it. I'll give it full context. We should tell everybody what we did as a bubble for well, gifts. Well, I don't know what you. Oh yeah. Oh if, sorry. Like the system that you did. I thought cause this was Kevin's idea, and it actually it is by far the most fun. It was I one have of my had. many brilliant ideas. We'll tell the whole story. We'll tell the whole story, guys. We've got ten hours. We're not gonna just build a rocket ship today. We're gonna build memories. Okay, that's what we're doing here. That's what we're doing here. All right. That was amazing. I'm glad I wanted you to turn around that. and look at the, at I, the camera. I, I. It's good because I heard like a clatter as I said it, which is all I ask for in your reactions is that they're like disastrous a little bit. That's That perfect. was actually just Santa Claus. Oh, uh, wow. Well, you know, he's a little clumsy. Guy's Something was the matter. Is it plausible that these are extra? Would that check out? Or yes, do I yeah, yeah. A lot of, usually you get a lot of one by one extras. Oh, you know what's crazy? Oh, look at this. So I used to think like, oh, maybe, maybe they give you those because, um, because they think you're more likely to lose them. <gasps> Wait, we have a fault. I have to fix this. This what? is because look at it's uh, like this. Oh, you want it to be lined up. I want it to be lined up. Oh, it's not snapped down anyway, so you're in luck. Un, can you please fix it? Make it better. Uh, this is. So, <laughs> I love how we get Bopro to go to full and, screen to show your errors. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, because look at and also like for anybody who's feeling intimidated by lego at all look i feel you but listen lego will love you back even if she messes with you sometimes it's okay just get your extra nerdy friend to spot check your work and then fix your mistakes which means also side effect is that i get all the pleasure of like putting things together and none of the irritation of no, having to fix things no offense brenda but 90 percent of the people in the chat are the super nerdy friends well all of your friends are super nerdy but when i and by no offense brenda i meant no offense y'all <laughs> <laughs> I am I'm not offended. Listen, by being by being the least nerdy in the room. That's fine. That's fine. Kevin, you'll be happy to know Anna and Libby are working on their own Lego shelves in their nice. closet. 
like Uncle Kevin. That's awesome, AJ. Oh, yes. What are they building? What sets are they wearing? Oh, we saw... Exclusively elves. The, no, it wasn't the elves one, which is a to beautiful go on the set. Elves I kind of want to build... Sh- I, no, I thought want, you were talking about the elves. I kind of want to... Dragon. Um, I, want, I kind of want to take one of, some those. of those elves and just give them a plate above their head so it's uh, a shelf on an elf. <laughs> I want to... I want none of it. Dork. Uh, sorry, what we were saying... Dorkitude. We were saying something else, though. About the I don't system know. for gifting in our bubble. Yes, okay, but before we get there... Ugh. Ugh. Gosh, it's harder to do when it's all of them at once. How are we doing? Pretty good. All lined up. I'm pushing them in, and it's either going to be lined up perfectly, or it's going to snap and go in. And then we'll just have to not only start again, but find everything. Uh, also, okay, like I have nineteen, Yay! I have nineteen stories I want to tell. Okay. But the one that is most relevant right now, we got ten is hours. Is that um, the uh, extra yes, extra one by one bricks? I did remember. Thank okay. you. But what I'm going to tell you right now is that so on my Instagram, I posted a picture of this wreath on the ground that like, Elizabeth, <laughs> Elizabeth had broken. Okay, you're about to do it again, maybe. I'm, no, I'm No, you, you haven't lined up the white and the gray again. Oh, you're right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, literally just said that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, I make fun of her for, like, dropping my Lego and breaking it and stuff. Which is very funny. The and, like, just as she was, like, also she's in our bubble and, like, just as she was leaving the other day, I was coming out to show Brenda something I had built, and I hit my, I knocked my advent calendar with my shoulder, which <laughs> ran into a Christmas tree out of Lego, and this is what it looks like now. It's pretty disastrous. Very sad. The repercussions were far-reaching. Um, I didn't say the nicest of words. No, you said some bad words. Yeah. There were some bad words. You contained yourself. You went through your cycle of, and like, then, fury and then contained and then yourself when pretty I, quickly. And, like, there was a, and then the dog was, like, desperately trying to get the pieces. Yeah. So I finally get them all, and I, like, come into this room and tripped on a chair and hit a hit one of my little containers of tiny one by one pieces that went everywhere. <laughs> but also, I really appreciated your ability to go, cause you know when like something like that happens and it's your fault and you're just full of that rage and it has nowhere to go cause it's all your fault. Kevin no. went through, like Colin appreciates that very much. He is enjoying yeah. it. Oh, shoot. You I, like managed yourself really well. Cause you could have really lost this piece, it. But I can't find it. Um, oh, it was funny. Okay, so the one-by-one one pieces, I thought it was just so you'd have extra because you're likely to lose it. Right. But in my advent calendar, I had one that was squished and mangled so bad oh. that I was like, oh, maybe these are just the ones that get like weirdly caught yeah. in like pieces of machinery when right. they're coming out of the system. Or even just are most likely to be damaged in packaging I mean, no, or mailing I, These or pieces, you can... You can do a lot with these pieces. Yeah, and they won't your get damaged. foot will take the brunt. I think they must have a pretty, I think, well, not a high rate of like machine mangling, but they must have a non-zero rate. And surely they um, figured out like it is more cost-effective yeah. to throw some extras yeah. of this tiny, tiny, tiny thing rather than have but, to replace. But you know, I've so I've in in all the Lego Smart I've bought, Lego. I've had one damaged piece. I've had one missing piece, right. which was the nose of a of a snowman and an ornament. Okay. Which was that's fine. I I got another one not too long later, and, and I had one missing belly. sticker sheet. So that's the only oh. time I've ever had to. Sticker um, sheet seems like the biggest. A deal. lot of times I'm like, really? Did they really? And like a lot yeah. of people, you know, but it's it's usually that you put it somewhere it wasn't supposed to be. Or it's still in the bag. Or it's in the bag or whatever. Times. Yeah. But I yeah the the sticker sheet um, I still have never found it. And they don't ask questions, you just write to them and you say, especially if you bought it from lego.com or from the store or whatever, you're just like, this didn't come with this. Lego and is spectacularly yeah. good just as a brand. Like they really, they want the customer experience to be very positive. Okay, so we're back now finally to um, to what we were talking about, which was our gift oh, exchange. Oh yeah, and this so, is one of my favorite ideas you've ever had. I really liked this idea. So we have five people. This works really well with five. It I does. said I'd max it about 200 people for this. But. <laughs> But it couldn't be much more than five, probably. <laughs> yeah. But um, instead of doing like a secret Santa or whatever, um, we, so I had two ideas. The first was, you know, when you do secret Santa and you're like, you, you like know certain people better than others or like certain people are just generally easier to buy for. Like if you got me, you'd just be like, I don't know, just get him some Lego. Or yeah. Something. 
which actually would be harder than you'd think, but you know. But people would think um, that that, like, they would know what to get for some people over others. Or it would be cheaper to shop for some people over others. <laughs> I'm just laughing at Colin's comments. This one is one Battle picometer. Collection. Extra sticker that isn't mentioned in the book anywhere. Bonus points if you can tell me what a picometer is. Brenda. Picometer? Yep. Where is... A picometer. I'm just looking at this one as one. Context is it's picometer. one picometer smaller than acceptable. Is it something even smaller than a millimeter? Like a, well, if you divided yeah, yeah. a millimeter by like pico pi by pi, if you to take a millimeter divided no, by pi, no, it's not. And then you that's a good. That's a good. Uh, that's a good guess. Though. Oh, that's very supportive. Thank you. That's good uh, morphology. Some sort of like morphology is breaking down a word. Yeah, I like see. you're creating some fake morphology. Yeah, I'm good. Um, and. Um, it's 10 to the minus 12 is why pico then pico P that's just the Pi. that's just the uh that's the like the standard si unit prefix for 10 to the minus <gasps> 12 or 15 i think 12 look at what how you know, like, fun i'm putting mi micro the nano. i get it micro and nano i understand look at this uh, hi mama bear uh, that's my mama bear <gasps> Rosalie! And then uh, the other thing Colin said that was funny that distracted us was um the distracting. It's very distracting. But also, I mean, me. Yeah. Uh, was that the there's this Batmobile set, which is r really awesome, actually, by the way. Um, the Batmobile is a great object, period. So. Uh, that has an extra sticker yeah. that's just on the sticker sheet and it's not mentioned in the book anywhere. <laughs> What do you do with it? Is it just to be applied creatively? I have, sometimes they do things like, I, I think I can find one of these really quick. I keep my extra stickers around here. Um, like this one here. I don't know what set this is from. Oh, actually I do know. Wait. I think oh, this yeah. this is from like the... Um, Looks like a friend's set. No, sticker. no, I think this is from the gingerbread house actually. Oh, yeah. um, but maybe not. Um, that they just have these extra stickers in the corner. They're like a banana and a cat and a heart. Tiny little And that's squares. like, oh, we just had some extra space on the sticker sheet, so we'll print something that you can use for whatever you want. Because if you why want. not? Those are also the size but, to put on like little tiles exactly. and stuff, like on the hat. Why not? You can but use that, that anytime. That they did have in the instructions basically a little icon that was clearly like, these are extras. Yeah. Okay, so. Bubble. <laughs> back to the story. This is story two, <laughs> tangent six. Yeah, We're in subsection yeah. eight. Thank you, Brenda. You're welcome. It's like a David Foster Wallace book. That's all. Um, I love how we actually, I forgot that we have the dog camera. That's so funny. I love funny. Newton Cam. Look at the so greatest funny. boy. Also that he's flopped like back. That's now, so funny. Now just okay. living his best life. Um, so the first idea was that some people are easier to buy for or whatever. And Cheaper. the idea was that you would bid on them. <laughs> So depending on who you thought would be easier to shop for. Yeah, and you would bid and like mm -hmm. presumably I don't know if like I don't know if the bid is the amount of money of the gift. <laughs> it should be. Because understandably you would be able to and then like if you're difficult to buy for also you're like You get worse gifts. You get worse gifts as punishment for not having cheap, easy hobbies. Because that's your fault around the holidays for not having something oh, obvious. Oh, man. And that's the people who get, like, a Christmas ornament or, like, a scented candle. Because uh, we don't know. Yeah, it's exactly. Their fault. It's their um, fault. So that was my first suggestion. Which I did which, think like, was. Which, like, they almost. We probably would have done We probably would have done that, and it would have um, been fun. I like the idea of having, like, if you're going to do that, that's fine. But, like, set your price limit before and, yes. then, and then donate the bids. Yes, right? absolutely. Like, yeah. Absolutely. You got to have um, some altruism. If you're going to be jerks to each other, at least yeah, make yeah, it for charity. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so instead what we did was um, none of us got a single person we would give to. It's that each of us would conspire as a group of four to come up with a gift for the other one person. Mm -hmm. So we had, you know, five different group chats, each of them with four people. So you have to be a little careful in the group chats. It was uh, stressful, guys. There was a landmine everywhere you looked in our simultaneous chats because every single one excluded and of course, only one person. We're all talking, chatting constantly. And I would troll scheming. with like, wrong chat. Da -da -da. 
which gives you a tiny heart attack every time. Right, exactly. And it meant that we were all, so like the pressure was off because we were all conspiring as a right. group of four to figure out something good for one. And I think actually we did really well because we were all oh, we got such good gathering intel. Like, you know, when you get a gift that like, the thing that's most exciting is that the person who got it clearly really knew you and really thought about what you would like and didn't go for the most and you're obvious, like, Ugh. easy and really, thing. And you're like, what am I supposed? What am I supposed to say? I love this. What yeah. am I supposed? Okay, so, but we should give. We should use you as an example because your reaction to our gift was one of my favorite. Like clear indication that you're happy about the break because you went silent instantly when you opened these and like burrowed down into the activity for a minute which if i have great. no emotion on my face and then tell you the emotion i'm feeling you yeah you know i'm being real deadpan just absolutely yeah it was great it was this great. makes me happy yeah <laughs> i'm feeling very happy right now it was good it was very entertaining i love it <laughs> that's it that's it i'm bored tell them what you got uh, okay, so this is one of, if not my most favorite and played with toy from when I was a kid. My parents' friends I love that thing. It's got so me this Here, when I lived it. in Woodstock. I solved this like I could do. I could literally do this thing with my eyes closed because there was no challenge left. Um, and I've seen you do it with your eyes closed. It's bizarre. If you can't, I took my eyes off it for one second there, and Actually, I'll just see if I can get it. I, my hands are not in ideal position here, but um, there's like little holes all along the maze if you can't tell. It's one of those very classic. That's the hardest part. Almost there. Quiet. Pressure's on. It's in the car. Last type. Oh! <laughs> so close. It rimmed out. So close. Oh my gosh, and that's yet, brutal. So far. You can't like you can't even do that on purpose. Let's just go for the hack technique. The comedic timing is spectacular though. Like this is quality content. We got a puppy. Yes, nailed it. <laughs> uh, that took me like five minutes when I filmed one of those for. Um, yeah, it's on. If you go onto I'm Bored Toys on yeah. Instagram, you can see some really funny like. So my favorite footage. toy is this. Um, I brought it out of the basement when I was first starting to do these things and, and like was, just looking for stuff to post. This is a pretty retro toy. Like, what era is this? I mean, this is this is 1990. Yeah. Um, it's got a nice vibe to it. And I we were hanging out a while. I don't know, in November maybe. And I was describing, I had brought over my bag of toys out of the basement to where we were hanging out. And we all got to play with like They were playing puzzles really and stuff. Fun. and like, It was really fun. So I was talking about this one and how much I love it. And that um, there were more in the series. Uh, Mom, I think it was the um, the same people who would have given me like the uh, the race, the little remote control toys and stuff. The guy with the french fry, I think, in the, in the pocket. And uh, when we go to the panorama for uh for dinner and stuff i'm pretty sure it was them so <laughs> my mom's gonna know exactly who i mean of course she is um it's mom's job so i got this and i was describing the box that it came in yeah and that on the back of With the box not a lot of detail that there were fair. like more in the series and yeah. stuff and maybe we found some pictures like we might on have google and stuff it. Yeah, but we like might have in any case this is what i was describing which camera am I going on? It came this from a fun. weird corner of eBay, let me tell you. So this is what I was describing. So I <laughs> guess they took note. Yep. Uh, so it was Gerald Phillips. There was some sleuthing. Shout out to Gerald. Shout out Gerald. Um, Gerald, your gifts brought so much joy. Um, and uh, so these were, these were them. This is the, uh, the Game Machine Super Dare Challenging Games of Fun and Skill. This packaging? Like, you cannot, you I can't had, get better than I this I had the packaging. one that's called Trap, um, and there were two more. And um, little did I know there were some others. But in any case, they went deep into the internet and found one of them. Oh, yeah. With packaging, which is phenomenal. It's so bizarre, You know guys. when you kind of, like... I don't know. I guess if you're not like a toy collector, like I'm not a toy collector. I buy, if I buy an old Lego set and it's expensive, it's because I want to build it. Yeah, for sure. It's um, to play with. Which this is, you know, that's with. fine. But if you, but I, if you don't really, uh, if you don't collect toys, you probably just kind of laugh at the idea of like not needing to have it in the package or yeah. like whatever, da, 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 yeah. da, For me, just the fact that it has the packaging makes it so much better. The packaging also just has this like perfect yeah perfect aesthetic to it. I don't particularly care that the packaging it's obviously so would not get a top grade. 
because I'm going to play with this still. Like, this was yeah. opened and played with. Yeah, like, it's used, for um, sure. This package was, like, taped back together in, like, the 92 or something, you can oh, tell. God, it's so funny. Um, it has been more than four years since someone played with this. Uh, At least. That's, and it truly That's why it says four plus years. The amount of, like, recon that <laughs> happened online to, like, find this weird thing on eBay, order it, like, even just figure out what you were talking about, and yeah. then... I don't even remember. And they how found, they, how I mean, they found two, two other like mini ones, yeah. which are like this one is like just annoying enough. Mm -hmm. Like it it's doable. It looks like it's gonna be easy, but it's not. It's like I don't know what shape. Simple. I don't know what shape they put in the middle. Like, it's. I feel like a parabola would be easier even than this. What's a parabola again? Is that the Pringle it's like, shaped? Shape? No, no, that's a, like a hyperboloid or something. Parabola. Um, Parabolic or, hyperboloid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a parabola is just a two-dimensional x equals or y equals x squared. I'm making plus four whatever. of these. Um, like a power of two. Mm, mm -hmm. Um, and uh, it's something weird that like is really annoying. Yeah. Anyways, and then this one here where like the balls move around in the circle and da 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 da. It's so funny though. They're so and so tell them what happened when you opened it, because I think that's very funny. I don't know what happened. You well you that's because you probably blacked out. So Kevin, you know how like people have the reaction, you can tell when they're excited, you can tell when it's been put on. Kevin unwrapped these and like mid sentence, just at like we're all chatting, whatever. Mid sentence, he just goes silent, and you see hyper focused Kevin. It's like a blanket drops over oh, him. Oh, okay, I do remember now. Down in his little tunnel of play, and you could not, you could not tear his focus away from what he was doing, which I would take as the highest compliment of the present that you were immediately completely unironically absorbed in yeah. what you were doing which was exactly what we were going for it was spectacular so but i can tell you my perspective now i remember mm. so what i it was in two separate packages the oh, first yeah. one contained the smaller ones yes which i had never seen before yeah um and uh when i held the package i could hear marbles <laughs> rolling around pretty pretty recognizable sound. right it's like when, when you get like a perplexus or something like you know uh <laughs> Actually, the reason I'm into Lego right now is because my mom, two Christmases ago, bought me a Perplexus, which is like the three-dimensional ball rolling oh. ones, which um, I, I should just play sometime Shout on stream. Shout out Rosalie, all success of Onboard Toys but, is down uh, to you. We'll, well, no, I'm not done the story yet. Okay, go on. Unbelievable. Oh. Don't interrupt me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Unlikely. And uh, she got me one of those, but I already had it. Okay. And so I took it back to the store and traded it for some Lego. Nice. And I built that thing and was like, oh my gosh. This, this is, is the best. Amazing. That's great. Um, Brenda, you're out of control I'm on this build. I'm doing a great job. Right now, you're everything I'm mind. doing is good too. Okay. I look, look down for a second and you're like done with the set. And I'm doing it right because I got to do the same thing four times, which is good. I had time to figure out what my mistakes were and anticipate how to prevent myself from making them over and over. So good for me. Yeah. Um, good for you. I Thank love you. it. Thank um, you. Really and good so that's why I'm into the uh, the Lego stuff because of the perplexuses. That's great. Let's get that's back really to the... Uh, story number 6B2. Mm, subsection C. A. If you're following along at home. Paragraphs. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to get tired of that joke anytime soon. I think that's very funny. <laughs> the poor subtitle algorithm. It's like, what are they talking about? <laughs> I didn't even think of that. <laughs> um, <laughs> normally yes. they would use like context for things. Nice. Yeah, no, done. Not for you. Um, so now I've lost track again. This is like, imagine being in one of my classes. Is this I, I what often you're like have in to, class? I often have to ask my class to put me back on track. Oh, that's good though. That makes them pay attention. Um, yeah. Makes them um, engaged. Like um, this. Oh, mom, you didn't do anything. You are you bought me a gift that I already had, so I returned it and got a Lego set. And Which that's, technically that's why, is doing something. That's where all my money's gone. <laughs> Rosalie, my apologies to Ashley. Listen, this has provided hours of entertainment, really, is what um, it's done. Okay, so I opened the small ones first, and I had never seen them before. Mm. But So when I opened them, I was like, oh my gosh, they're made by the same company. That's amazing that they found these ones. That's hilarious. I love it. 
you know, mm-hmm. but they're not the ones I know, and like they yeah. look kind of fun, like simple and blah blah yeah. blah. But that's great. But I love it, you know. And then the next one I was holding, and I was like, it was like generally the shape of what you'd expect. And so in my head, I was like, oh, maybe they found a bigger one. However, the ball was not rolling around because it was stuck underneath yeah. the maze and like wouldn't move around. And so in my head, I was like, oh, it's not that thing. That would have been so awesome if I finally had one. So you, know, you had a moment of thing, like then disappointment, I it. like excitement, disappointment, excitement, disappointment. And then I like kind of thought funny. it was just the box. Right. Or so, I don't know. And then like slowly it all came together and was like, oh, wow. Yeah. They actually, actually found this thing. That's insane. But I feel like that's the reoccurring theme in our gifts. And the thing that I think was the most exciting about all of them is that for the most part, the stuff that we got, you would get it and you'd be like, oh my gosh, I dropped one sentence about this in one conversation to yeah. one person in our bubble. How did they pick up on that or figure it out? Which is incredibly gratifying to receive as a gift. I'm going to need you to check these for placement and just make sure that the I way that I put them on is right. how I they're building this. Isn't this gorgeous? We need to take a pause because we're done bag two and just look at, just like appreciate how this is going to get. And I like that, I didn't think I would like this, but the fact that you can like see the innards right now is yep. absolutely delightful. Um, Just, can you just check that that's together? Yeah, like, yeah. Everything looks good. Okay. Um... Okay. They're in order. Don't mess it up. Ooh, this is nice. Well, that's nice. Well, that's nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah, that's look at how you can see like inside still. Let's Ooh, just it's so let's nice. just hold it up here. To isn't that beautiful? So we're through bag one and two, and we already look how circular. It's so... like Lego does not lend itself to circles. True. And so what they've done is they've made an octagon and then used circular pieces. Um, these are going to be flat. Uh, like on here, it's going to be flat. Hmm. But what they've done, I guess, is made... Oh, sorry. Thanks. Um, they've made this flat as well. So I think that's going to like really just give it yeah. the shape that it's... It's so good. Well, and this is also making some Unreal. crazy use of the studs, not on top, like the way that we're building like a skeleton and then attaching the smooth tile type pieces onto the side to make that round shape, but also to give it that smooth finish. I think that's brilliant. By the way, when this thing's done, love this. it's going to be like two from feet, where my hand is almost to two like, feet tall. what? No, not two feet. No, yeah. it's, it's, it's a mirror. That's more than three feet, bro. Oh my god, that's true! I was thinking about how tall the box was. Now, how many picometers is that? Ten million picometers. It's more than ten million picometers. That's math. My, you know, these are these are all outside of my jurisdiction. Uh, one meter <gasps> is ten to the twelfth picometers. Ten to the twelfth picometers, That's a thousand children, billion. A thousand billion. Or a trillion. A trillion picometers. That's a trillion picometers. I'm going to have a rocket ship that's a trillion picometers tall. And best believe I'm going to say it like that just to be extra obnoxious. I wonder it. how many Lego pieces I've ever been I'm made. so excited. As soon as this is built, it's it's going to hang in the ceiling of my studio. And I am going to be riddled with delight about it at Here all we go, times. yeah. It is exactly 100 centimeters long. Guys. That's one meter. Bag three, bag three, bag three. We're rolling along at a very pleasant clip. I have to say. You're the one rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rocking and rolling. Well, you were telling the story about uh, the the gifting of our bubble. So if you're feeling stressed about like Secret Santa, shared gifting, you know, all of that stuff, I heartily recommend this method. She said heartily, not hardly. Heartily. I hardly recommend it. I hardly recommend it. Can't barely stand it. I hardly recommend oh, it. Oh, it's a hard recommend for sure. Hard recommend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah. This is beautiful. Um, this is amazing. Everything is awesome. Look at how gorgeous. It already, I like the fact that it already kind of tells you what it's going to look like. Like, you're getting some visual gratification very early on. My only concern about a build at this level was that it would be a long time before you got any visual gratification, which... We'll put this up, like, when we, um, 
when we're gonna add this up, but I think just we'll just put it on the side. Yeah. I think it's nicer to have it just down. Well, and we have a, then you can kind of take a look at it, but also we have a lot of repetition now. Like we're doing pretty much everything four times over. Let me, um, for the most do you part. just wanna keep building? I'll just show other things. Yes. So some of the other stuff we've got going on here, I've been working on, uh, I've been working on my campground, um, which is, is going to be where the people stay, uh, in my amusement park. And so, um, I just, I've acquired the centerpiece of my campground, which I really like. Um, I like getting a lot of Lego sets and build, I like building my own stuff too, but I like a making small modifications to sets and be kind of using real builds as the centerpiece. I, I like designing stuff, but it's a lot of work. You modify a lot. You and do I, a lot of And like... I really love what they do on their own. So this is gonna be the centerpiece of the campground. And I'll add a lot of details and Which stuff. But is, this set it, is put it, put gorgeous. It, you have to set it. It's so beautiful. I, mean, I don't know what you can Slide push. it forward a little bit so Where that you go. can see. Oh, oh it no. came off the tree. No, no, it's just the pot. Um. This, I knocked off the little pot. I, when I came over to like look at this set the this first is not time. A, this is not the ideal set to provide. It's gorgeous. <laughs> this, this is why I Just stopped. Just know that This it's... is why I stopped filming me building it. Is because it, <laughs> yeah. it got this big. Yeah. Um, but it's stunning. Actually, just go big on the other camera. Yeah, I like this better. Um, there's like three little cabins. One's a bedroom. The middle one's a bathroom, and the other one's a bedroom like with bunk beds in it. Great little furniture pieces in It's got a swing. It's got a swing here. It's got this like food box. I'm going back up. Don't worry. It's so cute. I keep knocking things off. Uh, it's got a food box and like a little crank, either for like just like a transfer system or to keep away from the bears, whatever. Um, oh, I just, it's just minifigures I've knocked off. That's fine. The water's nice. Like it's done with like transparent uh transparent plates and so on um and then like they've like i think i'll do like a full i think i'll probably do like a i don't know five or six picture tour of this on instagram <gasps> yeah do you um, want to show just the other leaves too that it came with oh just yeah well hold on leaves. i'll get there i'll get there okay. i'll get there uh but my favorite thing actually is that like for no reason right here well let me show you two things that i like here, move this over. So Th this is thing see. that I like 1B6. <laughs> um, is This is their shout out, I believe, to the designer. So uh, this cute. is an idea set. So I'm assuming this is the, the idea's submission person and not the Lego professional designer. Okay. It's, it's one or the other. Um, it's just a little like, it says, uh, build your dreams, KF. It's so cute. Um, and then for no reason whatsoever, except that they, it's like, it's a Lego set and they wanted to. There's this little rock set piece here can be removed and there's a little gem inside. It's a tiny treasure. We also got to play find the tiny treasure. So I had to like hunt around and yeah, see if I could look Her at hand it. touched the rock like 14 I times. I didn't figure it out. And I just started playing hot or cold. Yeah. But she thought I was talking about her other hand. Yeah. And it was embarrassing. Yeah, it was. You um, know, really, really struggled. So that's what I love about that. It's so cute. And, uh, um, so a big thing they did with this is these leaves. Uh, number one, they've been, Lego's been working on switching from proper plastic to plant-based materials, like renewable materials of some sort. Which is amazing. Good for you, Lego. Yeah, Mad love. You. Mad love. Um, and this was one of the first ones they tried, like they're getting close to like really good stuff. So this is one of the first ones they did where they made all the plant pieces are made from the which the, is such a clever they, way to like yeah. dip your toe into that that's yeah. so smart so they've you know just this one set like they're really gonna have to see how well it does over a couple of years and stuff right. and you know right. and they give you two full sets of leaves oh here well i can i've got other okay leaves. um it's beautiful so they they give you the green leaves um for like summertime ones and then they also give you a full set of yellow and brown leaves oh for God. fall uh and so, so good. it's just a it's nice to just have extra pieces if yeah. you want them but it's also nice to be able to fully change it on this build so seasonally i was building with biz frizz building with biz um colin it's uh, it's still available people thought they were going to retire it but um it's still available you can buy it on amazon right now 
Uh, it's sold out online on Lego's site, so you wouldn't get VIP points. Um, but they aren't retiring it yet, so you can still get it. Um, I bought this as soon as it became available in the summer again. Uh, not on Lego's website because I, I was just like, oh, I really wanted it. I thought they were going to retire it. Mm. Um, but in any case, really, really nice. It's gorgeous. It's and also so, like... like we just were building, uh, messing. I was messing around with Bizfrizz, um, with like this like branch technique, in there, with like these weird pieces. That's so pretty. Can you see those? Um, oh, that's not a bad view actually. Yeah. That's so I'm messing around with that and like it's a little boxy on the bottom. I need to fix that, but otherwise I like what's going on. So that's just like I'm just like playing around with tree techniques. I don't really understand building trees. It's hard. The way that the bark yeah. is handled on this set, though, like the way they actually make a ton of variation in how the base and the branches of the tree change are beautifully done in this set. Like it's oh, perfectly they, balanced and harmonious. They could have lots made of this. Change in texture. They could have made this very boring and repetitive. Yeah. But, yeah. And they could have made the instruction booklet a lot smaller. Right. But they've already made these out of plants, so sure. they've done enough. There you go. They did the thing. They did the thing. You have the option of digital instructions. Lego has done Well, no, part. you can't ask for no, no you instructions. Can't say it's, true. <laughs> it's fair. Can... I like the little telescope. Uh, but yeah, the bark, uh, the bark's like the bar just using studs in their kind of natural way to and look like a really few nice bark and tones yeah. of the browns and stuff. Like for a set that really you has get like reddish three brown, you get colors. nougat, you get. <laughs> You know, if you want beef colored, you got it. If you want just something a little uh, bit Beef warm. colored is red, buddy. Ugh. Yucko. <laughs> um, that's a beautiful set, though. I think that thing is so It is. Gorgeous. It's really nice. So that's going to be the it's centerpiece really nice. of my... Uh, you can come back in for a minute. Okay. The centerpiece of my, of my campground. You can see a lot of my um, little campers uh, out there. Which are all slightly different. Yeah. Um, Interesting. You, you got your caramel. You got your dark camel. <laughs> dark camel. <laughs> uh, We're definitely. This is like gross. the type of thing that, like, you know, you just like. We do that for years. Of course. Then, like, oh, that's a callback forever. I'm not thrilled about it because I think the color names are one of like the pain points. One of the only pain points that I experience with Lego. Uh, but the camp ground generally like all the different little campers all i love things. yeah right isn't that crazy i double checked it appears to be correct something surely is going to oh, i'm just gonna it's just i'm Do gonna see what's gonna happen check, no, no, i'm it. sure you're fine so we're coming we're adding more like outer pieces more of the casing that's going to cover this thing and then we're going to have to do something that makes you guys might not be able it to must see this be it's like, kind of like freestanding up top oh these it's going to be these it's going to be these pieces that's what's going to oh be. probably interesting probably oh yeah that makes we'll sense all right continue cool. i'm enjoying you're killing i'm doing great also again we get to repeat simple steps four times my brain can we had discussed that. this uh this set numerous times oh yeah and how and like we just we knew brenda wasn't going to get it for herself but also like mm -hmm. um i was intimidated by it and but Ship every it. time she discussed it she's like well maybe i'll get it but you'll have to you'll have to build it for yeah. me yeah i did say that and you're doing everything i'm doing great but also the reassurance of having someone that i can be like okay but is this reasonable what's happening yeah. here it takes away any of the frustration that can like Put, like make a wall where you're like, oh, I'm not having fun anymore. I'm mad about it now. Will you pass me that I'm not tree? having that experience. I'm having a great experience. Careful, oh careful, yeah, careful. your little mini tree. This so actually, this one, the bark on this one is great too. So this, and then this is another tree I've Four been times. fooling around with. This is a modification of, um, so I bought the Stranger Things set. Uh, oh, yeah, it's really nice set, set too. It is cool looking. But like the reason I bought it um, was, uh, was because it has a lot of colors and pieces that i wanted for my own builds so like the colors on the upside down house are very similar to my own house and mm. like i wanted to be this was early on that was the most expensive set i had bought to that point it's Ex beautiful with maybe these, pro I, I think i had the hogwarts set before then but the what, um, the, what? The, the big castle oh yeah but otherwise um i bought the stranger things set and the and in that set um if you haven't seen it before there's like the outsides are trees 
and one's right side up, the other's upside down, it's and it's made of like crazy. blue. And the trees form the like the the base of it, so you can have it either with the upside down, uh, like the the blue and gray kind of creepy version. Yeah. Literally, it's like the same build, uh, flipped upside down, and you can like turn it and and have it sit on the trees. If if it's not making sense, just go find a picture of it. It's fine. And it is like um, it is an inversion. It's like a perfect inversion. But like the tree isn't that. The trees they use need to be a base, so they can't be that leafy. Um, this is effectively what it looked like originally, uh, with a few more tree uh, leaves and stuff because I borrowed them to put onto this one. But this is me adding a lot of leaves and um, just kind of details and extra branch work, like this little leaf right there. Mm. Um, I should have done it on this one because I actually want that missing. The That's barb, so the barb missing poster yeah, is yeah, hilarious. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Barbara Holland. Barbara. Um, yeah, and so I kind of beefed up this tree to put. Uh, yeah, kind of cameled up the tree. Just cameled the tree up a little bit. You know, sometimes you gotta take that tree, just camel it up. You know, it happens. It happens. Oh dear. Um, and so that's. I've been yeah playing around with a lot of tree stuff. Um, all to add ambiance to the amusement park eventually this is going to give you know a little bit of context and my dad told me i was talking to my dad yesterday and he was saying he was very excited to tell me he was working on a campground in oh, his yeah. model railroad layout. there's something lovely and congruent about the fact that that yeah so if you don't know my dad uh or about him he has rail a fan. massive uh, what do you use the term rail model. fan I don't know. I don't know what they call themselves. Real fans. People who are avid fans I don't know. of... Oh, um, wait, wait, wait. Look at this. Look at this. Look at what's happening. This is crazy. This, this... So this is going to go like this and then attach here this, like, 4x4 four four brick. I'm, like, making this little snap-on piece and then it attaches just to the plate at the she top. She means two by two. Two by two. Equals four. Equals four, which uh, like makes it structurally sound right up at the top. See how these are kind of like flailing free standing? Put that into real words. I wasn't listening. Well, look at it, just watch what I just did and then explain <laughs> about it. See how this so is- So the Cones of Dunshire is a board, <laughs> fictional board game. <laughs> Um, these are like, Crazy. these are like little bracket pieces. These are the ones you built here. Yes. And it's going to go, well, basically yeah. you just need horizontal stability. And so you're just going to, like, this wouldn't be very fancy if it was just laying down on his side, right? Like, mm -hmm. Um, you can go to the table. That's here. wild. Um, if, uh, I don't know, I, sh I don't need to tell her what to do. She's just going to do I it. I know. She always does it. She, listen, the beauty of board productions, sure she will anticipate what you were going to want right. and it will already happen before you know to ask for it. it I, it's, I think it's more like luxury. I feel bad <laughs> Real that fans. she's so good. Real fans. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, that uh, I feel bad that she's so good and I, she's and so like, good. I want to be helpful. You're, I, I mean, just make it worse. You're making it definitely. De Board Productions needs nothing from either of us to function beautifully. Um, and so, yeah, it wouldn't be that weird to you if, if you did it like this, right? Yeah. But the fact that it's already on yes, its side. exactly. And then you're doing it four times. Exactly. All um, of that seems I love it. mythical to me. Also, I love how immediately everything just like tightens up together because building this cylinder, there's a few points where you feel for a second like I feel like I've maybe done something wrong because it just doesn't feel fully snapped together, but it's because it's going to get something to like hold it more steady. I kind of want some more coffee. Do you need anything? Me too. You want some more? Yeah. And chocolates. No, I don't want more <laughs> I don't want more coffee. I just want the chocolates. That's what I mean. I'll be right back. I'll be right here. Good. So now we're putting the tiny plate on the top. And this is one of the points where, because I am not a precise person, I experience some fear around these parts of the build because if I haven't lined everything up, like Kevin was describing, it might just explode everywhere. And I don't have the emotional resilience to handle a setback like that. That would undo me. It's not true, guys. I would make it through and it would be fine. But. I want you to know that all of this is coming together pretty spectacularly 
And I really did think that this build was like out of my league. It's not. If I can do it with my like medium level of inattention, that means that you can do it. Which is exactly what NASA would want us to feel. Everyone can be an astronaut. Oh my god. Eileen says, FYI, my cat is also watching with me. What's your cat's name? I need to know everything about the fur babies. Prove it with a camera. Prove it with a camera. Pixar, it didn't happen. Yeah. Oh, look, we're going to add more. Ooh, that's pleasing. Chocolate time. Look um, how satisfying this is. Oh, I love that we get to finish the little, like, casing oh. part. Newton stirred a little bit, and so we felt safe to put the light on. He oh. may go hide under the pillow, which is also the cutest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> My heart can't take Gina's it. Gina's the name of the cat. Jean. Oh, Gina. Yeah. That's a good name for a cat. Well done. Indeed. Gina. Um, Look at this. Oh, that's so cool. This Saturn is great. Five. I'm having so much fun today. I'm having so much fun right now. Yeah. If I was this watching is, this, I'd be so happy. This is... Can we, I'd be ha so that. happy that I would like the video and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Me too, friend. Me too. I mean, puppies, rocket ships, chocolates. What more could you possibly want? I don't know, Brenda. There's nothing. There's nothing in this world. Just All of the things are awesome. here. Isn't this glorious? I'm so stoked. I know, right? Uh, and also, this part is very pleasing because you get to, like, like adding this on and just, like, all of it becoming smooth and cylindrical. Yes. That's very gratifying. When circles are done well in Lego, it's amazing. Circles also, I oh, had... You just wanted a paperweight. I did. Uh, and a snack. I did, but I hadn't really considered how how much effort it takes for circles and cylinders and stuff to happen in Lego. I hadn't really thought about that. So and I take your point that like- Anything on it's off 40, in, or 45 degree angles? Yeah. Oh, gross. So I wonder, I'm always so curious, maybe this exists somewhere. When the idea sets first get developed and then you said that the, like a Lego engineer kind of comes on after yeah, yeah. to refine, I would be so fascinated to see yeah. that process. And like, the timeline can, the timeline can really vary, and the um, the Just like the extent and the extent of the changes. Yeah. Can really vary. And I don't know. I assume that really it's. I assume that all the paperwork basically says Lego can do whatever they want. Probably. But that sort of that like, part of the fun is working with the 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 sub, whoever submitted the yeah, design. Can you imagine getting to have that experience? It'd be like, fun, but oh, it, cool. I could also imagine being a Lego designer and you end up working with someone who's just a horrible person. Also entirely and you're possible. Like, oh no, I have to go talk to the client again, basically. I and wonder like, what it's like because some people probably feedback. go in with like a big sense of like depending on how much like, ego you bring yeah. to that process, you know. And if there's like kind of a butting of heads, yeah, and like, or you're possessive over because yeah. sometimes you got to kill your darlings, and depending on how accustomed right. you are to something and like, like that, surely in collaboration. the best ways would be to be humble and like yes. you know. Just like, yeah, I don't know. But how often in any process do we have it to like... It feels like it's off by a step. Oh, no, you're going ourselves. double up. Sorry. That's okay. Good job, Brenda. It's okay, Kevin. Brenda, you're a Lego superstar. I'm a Lego superstar. I'm a Lego, Lego superstar. superstar. I'm so pleased. Also, the, I like the instructions for this actually, like I was being a bit facetious before, but really and truly getting to do something four times to make it make sense actually is extremely helpful because it, like the the visual of the instructions but the actual tactility of doing this step just and, and like it's repetitive but when we're live streaming we're chatting and stuff it's yeah, actually it goes like, this so is going fast. a lot faster it goes so fast <gasps> bag four bag four door. bag four chocolate break right. nice let's talk about that i eat the good chocolates and sometimes Brenda, i hear about it how many pieces yes. have we gotten through have you been counting uh we're at this is piece 732 i don't know i have no idea i'm lying everyone out there who has a chocolate within reach or that you know chocolate. within a roll over reach go grab one and enjoy here rosalie shall i shall i throw and catch mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Never missed one in my life. What? Well, no, I have, but that's because I would throw Skittles as high as I could. Mm -hmm. And like, 
the goal was always to get them higher than the three-story school. <laughs> And then catch them in your mouth, and like they hit your lip, and you start bleeding. Oh my and it's god, like Kevin. Classic middle school fun, right? The things that you do in middle school because your options for entertainment are li limited. It was either that or like play a game where you end up throwing a tennis ball at someone who loses, right? Like, Listen, you ended up with a lot <laughs> of really ridiculous random party tricks. Like it's true, but my best one when I like I wouldn't do it with these because they're too big. But my best move is um. Well, it's not my best move, Look but at it's, your little chip it's my funniest one. Shoved it into your little is, to, couch. is to throw something and then let it come down right in front of you and then snatch it <laughs> like that. And you like kind of look like a chicken. I want to see that. That's funny. That seems like a great, like take that party trick to the next level. That's what you should be doing. Growing up in NB. I mean, New Brunswick probably has some ragingly entertaining activities. Colin, no? Oh dear, you're just asking for people, you're asking for the trolls to come out. I mean, that's okay, I don't mind trolls. This is your channel. That's not true, we don't want trolls, we want everybody to be kind. Also, we're building a rocket ship. How can you be upset about anything when everything is the best right now? Oh look, we're gonna do a thing. Oh, we've got a, a picture Upside of the cat down. on the Facebook page. I'm gonna go look oh, at a picture of Facebook? Gina. I wanna see, also, can we just appreciate how Newton is being perfect in well, every way? Well, you turned way. around, but. That's great. He's showing the other fuzz. We need to know all the ways that Newton can be adorable and fuzzy. Having a puppy as part of the stream is... My internet goes significantly slower while we're streaming. Oh, does it? Well, <laughs> yeah. you should get out your phone. Oh, no, your phone is occupied. We should get out my phone and figure it out on there. That's so funny. We're building this whole thing upside down. Whoa, what's happening? Everything is going to stream. Siri thinks we want to. Oh, that something. was that was actually. It's okay. I thought Ashley was in the kitchen and then and then the computer stopped making a fan noise. Oh, I see. A lot happened all at once, guys. It's okay though. It's okay, everybody. Oh, it's just uh Facebook won't load for me. Everything else will. Oh, that's funny. That's ridiculous. Oh, there we go. Da -da. Uh also if you look on Kevin's Facebook page right now, you'll see uh, immediately after I unwrap this present, my real-time reaction, which is me losing my mind that we're going to get to build this set. I want you to know that that's like the level of excitement that I've been running about this build. It is one of the most exciting things ever to me. Look at us with all this interaction. We're having so many fun interactions. Um, and... The other thing we've been having fun doing is um so brenda so we chatted about this a little bit last week but um brenda really oh, wants to make yeah. uh, a really tiny lego city to do some like neat stuff with yeah um it's, part of, it's like an extension corporate. of an art series that i did a while ago yeah she did this art series called architectonics architectonics yes. is also a wonderful word it is a really good word. i love the yeah. word architectonics um and Kevin and um, Ashley own two of the biggest pieces from that entire it's true. series. It's Those were fact. like those were like the feature. Oh look, Puppy Cam is now on Architectonics. <gasps> oh my God, Board Productions. This Just, is amazing. I love that so, set. It's also really nice to me that one of my favorite sets from that series is in a house that I am in all the time, so I get to see it because sometimes I really like pieces I mean, and then the I next, sell them and they're in. To a be honest, the province. next best one is in your studio. I love that one too. Yeah. That so, one's really good. Uh, if anyone loves that artwork, <laughs> uh, the next best. A lot one, of them are sold. I think oh, that's the Ashley's only one. Ashley's dropped the iPad. Oh no, Ashley! Oh, careful board production. Oh, oh she did. Oh, we gotta, we gotta. It's okay. This is the reveal behind the perfect curtain. We don't want you guys it's to feel alienated <laughs> by our perfection. Look okay? at that fabric. Yeah. <laughs> this is authenticity. <laughs> this is realness, you know? Oh my gosh, this That's is amazing. really funny. Um, uh, so, anyways, what we're saying is um, <clears throat> she wants to learn more. I don't know what... I do. I'm I don't know what micro she, cities. Sorry, Jen commented on it. I don't know what it means. Maybe the paintings? Architect. I'm assuming you don't mean the couch fabric. Ah, definitely we're talking about the paintings. I mean, maybe we could just... <laughs> She wants to learn more. Is that the... I assume it's about the paintings. Um, Look at the weave, Bopa. So tell them about the architectonics. Series. Okay. Architect... So the word architectonics 
can mean the study of architecture, but it can also mean the study of the architecture of something else. So you could say the architectonics of this piece of music is that it was done in this style and blah, blah, blah. So architectonics, the series is a bunch of pieces I did that was about breaking down the way that people collect and disperse in cities. So it's a lot of these tiny little squares and pixels meant to like look at density and look at the way that we stack up and up and up and how we get really crowded in some spaces and really thinly spread in others. And I'm still obsessed with this idea of how people pack into and spread out when they make cities and rural areas. So because of that, the idea of the Lego micro city, I think I just told you I wanted to make a city that we could like take top down shots into and then yeah. you found this book so i went on oh, no, i had wow. seen um i had seen a couple of books that get advertised to me you know like the algorithms are getting pretty good for me yeah um which is good i think the There's last book few months book. like don't move it out of frame it's but because listen i'm putting it so that you can put the book right there and i have to attach this you're piece ruining Kevin. christmas i will ruin christmas you're ruining boxing in day. the interest of the <laughs> boxing day build being successful like the boss that so anyways I um i found this book there's one they make which um is called like lego architecture or something like that mm. and um it's all it's not necessarily all micro builds but it it basically its goal is to both show you uh lego techniques but also to walk you through the history of architecture oh uh, cool. use like using lego builds <gasps> That's um, so smart. It is. Re it re looks like a really nice book. So, it's um, and that actually the book that you have in front of you right now is also yeah yeah this gorgeous. one's gorgeous. It's yeah. I mean like um, the one thing where it differs from what I thought. I thought there was gonna be more of this and less of. I like what they've done, mm -hmm. but I thought there was gonna be more um, material of of the builds. Right. Uh, there's. Um, instead you get a few very specific um, overall pictures and then like they give they actually give you instructions for those like full step-by-step -step instructions like step one step two and all on this micro city scale so yeah. it's like pretty achievable to make because yeah. I wanted like a dense downtown like skyscraper type city made like with lego this, one. this one's really sweet yeah. yeah and in the lego you can do like crazy colors and stuff right. i don't know They're just but so, stacks are so yeah pleasing. so like we've gotten a lot of ideas these tabs yeah. that are on here I, I i let brenda have it for a little while and i She's just picked tabbed. out stuff that i liked <laughs> but um but uh yeah so we're going to i think we've kind of landed on trying to pick a section of one of those paintings to kind of act as the template for or inspiration for the layouts or the color scheme. We're going to treat it kind of like a floor plan. So we're going to try exactly. to follow that dense, crazy pattern that came completely out of my head. There are some parts of the series that I modeled after actual cities, but those two but what I, pieces are... What I like about those, which, I mean, they're not up right now, but what I like is that when you look at them, you can kind of, uh, well, with either one really, you can look at them as either a top-down view or a side-on yeah. view. Yeah. Uh, obviously, more so the right one lends itself to more of a vertical view. Yeah. And the left one lends itself more of a top-down. But um, if you were to go really close to the left one, you could see there's also like marker, like ladders and staircases, yeah. like tiny little doors, connect, sometimes like little not, weird windows. Not the directions you'd think they're mm -hmm. supposed to be. Oh, I love it. It's like a little bit absurd, and it's meant to yeah. be something between what could actually be some sort of like map or yeah. architectural floor plan or schematic of some kind. I wanted them to live somewhere in between something that could be built and something that could be followed. So thus concludes our sponsored content. Uh, that's some Art and Jess sponsored content. Uh, we had not planned on discussing those, don't worry. That's um, also just going to be such a fun project because looking yeah, at no, that no, little micro cities, this is why I love Lego because it takes a lot of that visual language. That's so the other head. night, this was... This was on, on Christmas Eve. Mm. Um, we were like watching movies and exchanging oh, yeah. gifts. And we just, can you pass me all those? Oh, yeah. Um, pass me all five. We just started messing around I mean, with various things. So. Well, you got me out. Kevin got out a bunch of like the pieces that show up in oh, the this Micro table, City's book. This table bunch. was a mess. It was I posted trash. a picture. I posted a picture on Instagram 
but that was that wasn't even that we, picture was not actually from today. It we was had, from that was from a few days ago. Well, and you still and I, had, I hadn't even put that stuff. Up. It was worse than the picture. It was insane because you still had a couple of builds out partway through, and then we made more of a mess. Like look yeah, at actually, I'll go down oh, here. it was just so much fun. Um, so I this this is no like these are no attempt to be what we're gonna do. It's just messing around on a size to see what is possible yeah. all at the same time, and we were just having a good time looking at the pieces. While well, simultaneously we had a brick link up, like checking which pieces are available and which colors and so on. Which means that we could follow, like I could play with how some of the pieces could interact as architectural details, but also it was a little bit like when we built the ornaments. So yeah. I would start a rough of what I wanted it to look like and then Kevin could fix some of the construction problems. So if I wanted something facing in another direction or I wanted, you know, a spire to point up instead of out, then and so could, like, resolve I just those? gave her like really fun. like 30 different little of, of those boxes on that you can see yeah. on the side there. Um, just a pieces that just like smallish pieces, lot. some interesting ones. Just curious what she would do with them mm. because she doesn't have a lot of experience like knowing which ones are there and and like for example, like she took um, these like goblet glass pieces and was using them here they're they're kind of ornamental, but you also use them as structural. Yeah, I wanted them to be like columns. Oh, these were like structural in like this podiums, one. podiums, which I liked very much. Y'all have another one of those. There you go. Did, is there more for her? She wanted some chocolate. I have water. I'm okay for right now, but thank but you. I want a chocolate. You wanted a coffee, though. No, I said I want a coffee, but I meant chocolate. Thank you, Board Productions. Okay. Yeah, finding out that was actually really fun to be given. So some of the, some of the ways that pieces fit together... A couple times you were like, well, here, just try some stuff and see, like, you find things out by accident yeah. with Lego, I Oh, find. we had other stuff on, on this one, but, oh, I, yeah. but I took them off to build this. So while yeah. she was still here, I, I just wanted love this thing. I just wanted to mess around with um, Makes me so happy. some color scheme and stuff. So, or like just things you could do. Um, so I built this like little thing. I don't know. You thought it was a generator of some sort. Yeah, I feel like it looks like I it. see it as an office building, but. That's true, or condos. Um, it could be. Condos. It has no door, so but these are just meant to be like kind of stairs along the outside, like you could walk around. I don't know, whatever something. Um, I just did it with whatever colors I kind of had, and like I really like this. Like if you actually had the appropriate continuum, yeah, like it a would gradient. Look really, like, Ooh. like this is f there are way more blues than this, but I really like this. Well, and there's a surprising um, number. It was a good way to explore what pieces. Like when we went on to Bricklink, and I've started just like clocking all these pieces some of them are available in an insane amount of colors Colin, colin's running gonna take the dog to the park oh enjoy hi, good enjoy. to see you colin thanks for hanging out thanks for stopping by thanks again for your witticisms um <laughs> don't don't say that it'll he'll make he'll just get worse uh i want you to know that kevin thinks he's smarter than he's you like are me. so you should come back and flex uh with something even he thinks more he, what i never witty. okay i would never say that about anybody i would never i'm an idiot <laughs> um so Idiot. that's i built this this was fun i love that thing and then i couldn't sleep um after that yeah obviously the next day the, he I brought over these little prototypes his widdershanisms <laughs> or is it wi or is it widdershanism widdershanisms it depends where you're from. New Brunswick, Widdershanisms. I will come back and flex. Don't worry. Pixar, Excellent. it didn't happen, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Quick run to the dog park, then right back into live stream. That's the kind of dedication we like to see. And then I couldn't sleep, Love and so sleep. I wanted to... Um, and, and so in my head, while I was trying to sleep, I was like thinking of little techniques I could do. And I really, I really Look like this, this one. Just this top, like the use of all the little curved pieces. We talked a lot about what should happen at the top of buildings because there's yeah. so many great little pieces that can be just the decorative element. And I had asked a bunch of times about like, I want this to attach to this, which sometimes is possible, sometimes is not. And then I did this with so these little like yeah, ornamental this is pieces. Great. That I like that inset a um, lot. I want to find a way to use which that. like kind of it reminds me of like these kind of ornamental fence window pieces. Yeah. Oh, Anna B's here. Hello, Anna. Anna, B. Anna Happy B. Lego build day. We want to know how the Frozen set that you were working on is. Was it Frozen? I think we saw you guys yeah, yeah, the it's castle. Yeah, yeah, it's a tree house. Tree house? It's a tr she I has it was a, a castle. Well, there was a castle too, but that was um, 
That was Libby's, I believe. Oh, Libby got the castle, you got the treehouse. And, uh, the castle's from Beauty and the Beast. Okay, cool. Yeah. I want to know about both of them. Anna did the, oh, the Atoll, uh, Atahalan? Atahalan. 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 That's, Fro that's Frozen's world. Yes. Yeah? Well, the, but there's also uh, Aaron, uh, Dell. Something Dell. Dell. Um, Aaron, Del Aaron. Right, because we were arguing with Elizabeth about that. Um, I need to... I need to step up my frozen knowledge. You need to step up your frozen knowledge. This is, listen, this is the currency that they're dealing in. You got to figure it out. Gotta so this reminds me of some, kind of some ornamental pieces they make on their own, but that, you know, it's just kind of there. It's just so pleasing. I really want to do, perfectly. we need I that. I want to take this and make it a little more complex. Yes. Um, or like kind of extend it a little bit and figure out what to do. It's, it's just sort of something glorious. that naturally happens with those pieces because those pieces are weird. They are weird. Oh, all right. Also, I Brenda, just... you've taken all the fun Lego out of you. Uh, not true. I realized that I have to do a step that I did a while ago twice because I put this thing on here, oh. and I didn't realize we need two of them, but I have two of these things, so I'm just going to quickly right. go back. Brenda, I haven't checked anything you've done that. in well, ages. Well, check it now because I am not emotionally equipped to handle the devastation well, I'm having know. to, I'm just <laughs> kidding. I'll, you know, my recovery time you, is very, I've very I've put fast. like six pieces on in the last two Not hours. true. And also I, you did check the build a while ago, but it had, there's definitely been a lapse where I've been doing all kinds of chaos and who knows, but you know, what she's still together. What bag are we Four. Do you want to try to go to six? I think we could. It's we're going down. much quicker than I thought I mean, it was going. Also, to. we're at an hour forty, and it feels like we've only been going for thirty minutes. Yeah, right. So. Well, we've had a lot of interaction. You guys are a big part of what sustains our builds, so thank you for that. It is a pleasure to also tell the you bricks. about <laughs> the bricks. The bricks are what uh, builds our builds, but that doesn't sustain our motivation. Different, subtle but important difference. <sighs> Okay. You're too kind. I am too kind, but that's I'm why... I'm like, I'd build this either way. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Kevin's here to be like, I don't know. It's fine. Stay, go. And, I don't uh, care. And I'm, I'm like, just, how soon, friends? I'm just bored. I know you're just bored, Kevin, but that's why we have to take I'm all joking. of these steps. I'm joking. I love... Uh, Lego and everything it entails. Yeah. And also the micro city I'm so excited about. Oh, my gosh. I, yeah, I mean, I think... I don't know. You've, Lego. It might, be, it might be weird to have us collaborating on something. Well, we'll figure it out. I I am able to make a lot of space for you, which is good. Uh, and also, I care very little about things being my idea uh, oh, yeah, compared to how much I compare. I care about them working. And you kind of have the same thing. You care more about it working than you do about it being yours. It'll, the which, only problem will be if you think something works and I think it doesn't. That often happens. I will jam things together using what apparently is an illegal build technique. Oh, that doesn't bother me. But, I, uh, meant, I meant like working in like a... I'll be like, that's ugly. This is too tight. Yeah, we might have, that could easily happen that we do something and I'm like, this is perfect. And Kevin's like, this is heinous. And then we'll just duke it out. We'll arm wrestle to settle it and it'll be okay. fine. Is this right? So I want, okay. right? It is a tight fit, but that seems that's like how it should be, right? It has to be. So do th I want that to go on again. And then and is I it think... meant to poke up? I'm yes. Sorry. It's meant to poke one, up by one? Yeah. One up above so that I think something is going to go in those little hook pieces. We are getting into the weeds sure. now, guys. I think so, yes. Yeah, yeah, one Just thing. one set. And then we're going to be doing something, I think, very similar with those smaller pieces. Yes. So we have two of those. And they are going to go on the opposite side. So we need to take that and that's going to cover. There we have we some go. little like naked spots that are slowly being covered by yeah exactly we're making it less scandalous because she needs an outfit you know we've built her innards and now she needs the outfit because she's going to space you. you can't be naked in space astronauts are never naked their rocket ships can't Brenda, be this is inappropriate discussion i think it's perfectly my mother is Furious. Rosalie, I want you to know that we're discussing things that are of dire import only. Only things that are of <laughs> dire import to the build. Also puppies. Also puppies. <laughs> can't you just... Can't Every you time just... I remember that there's a pig, it's just it's so, so great. It's ridiculous. I love it. it makes yes, we're amazing. talking about you, Newton. Good yes, boy. we are. Newton is perfect. 
is doing a great job. Also, talk about like sustaining so energy for the I'm not going to sleep tonight. Well, there you but go. You're going you're gonna to wake up and I a whole micro city is going to be built. Yeah. Oh my God. That would make me so happy. Do uh, it, you know do what? It, you know what? I'm it. kind of excited to do when I once I get like kind of the vacation energy to do it. What? Is reorganize my pieces. Oh yeah, you were talking about that. The organization. So this is. I don't know if you guys fully appreciate the magic of the space that we're in right now. So Kevin has. I don't even know how many Lego pieces would you guess that you have. I, think, yeah, oh, uh, like, I mean, I need a second to think and guess. Yeah. So while Kevin ruminates on that, oh. just consider the fact that most of the time so far and this is in my experience so the things that i ask for are pretty limited often i don't even know what to ask for but one of the best parts about building lego here is that typically you can say oh i need something to make this piece attached to this piece or i want to flip this upside down or i want this to go the opposite direction most of the time kevin will magically produce that exact thing and usually not always but usually you will also have a choice of colors, which is very gratifying. Well, my color is expanding, but yeah, um, it's true. The I would say on the order of a hundred thousand pieces, but you maybe, think so? I like I would say probably more right, than a hundred thousand, right. but less than five hundred thousand. Yeah, that seems right. <laughs> that seems perfect. Well, and also it just means that like when we do something like the micro city, even if we don't have exactly the color scheme or whatever, you can sort of. And this is meant to come down one. Yes, the gray should be down because we're going to attach something. See, just poking out a tiny, yep, it's easier yep. to see on this. Okay. I think we're going to end up snapping You're something good. else onto that. that, was, that that's really, that that's a tight fit. So. Right? Um, can you please do the exact same thing on that? Yeah, I can. I, I, I enjoy I didn't like. This. I didn't like fitting that and that made me nervous. The like, I'll do it like, if I had to, but it makes me nervous. Right now, I really wish I could see inside to know yeah. if I got it tight. On all the things, but it would be nice if this somehow was not. I guess on no, yet, I definitely but... did because. Yeah, also, I think we're good. these it's interesting because these are on that single pin. They kind of rotate a little bit to give you just this little bit of leeway to get it on properly. But it also means that it can be a little bit unclear if it's straight and I'll do this take one some shimmying. Um, and we're good, right? On mm -hmm. this, yeah. Yeah, that's it. And then we just, we're going to batten down the hatches. Okay, so what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to put it on this one first. So I'm going to make sure that I... Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Line these up. And then I'm going to go ah. down kind of, like, shove it in. It, guys, it, like, fits, right. but just exactly. There's no extra That's, room. like, some Lego math that went hard into this. AJ, my favorite space fact right now is... Ask again in 14 seconds. I know, right? It's going to change enormously all the time. But one of my favorite things right now is that I used to, when I imagined the solar system, I used to imagine... Um, almost like a hula hoop, the way a hula hoop spins around someone's waist. And that's the way that I thought planets orbited each other in the Milky Way. And in actual fact, right now, the Milky Way is almost like if you imagine the way that water shoots up out of a bottle or something. So it's like <coughs> the sun is skyrocketing through the universe and all of the planets are simultaneously orbiting around as the entire Milky Way shoots through space. It is not just orienting itself on a horizontal axis simultaneously along with spinning like crazy. We're all just rocketing through space, which means- I'm pretty sure it's going down. Well, to either way, you know, it's just moving. It's just moving. Everything's going down. Everything's going up, okay? And this is the divide and you can choose what side to sit on. Uh, that is currently my favorite space fact. Kevin is correct in that nine seconds from now I'll have a different one, but that's the one I love. Mom, this we didn't say your name. Sorry. We did. We said Rosalie a second ago. I wasn't listening. I was listening. We said something about Rosalie. What was it? I don't know. I don't know. You did come up. I will. There's try space to fact. Space fact. Space facts with Brenda. I will totally make that a segment for forever, along with uh, what the beef brick. I'm bored space people. with Brenda's face. <laughs> oh, I liked that. Um, also, I feel like everybody's kind of gotten a little more hooked on space facts. We have SpaceX to thank for bringing some of the footage sure that is available. To, ew, 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 ew. 
Uh, we have Elon Musk to thank a little bit Girl. for how much beautiful footage is available of things like launches and things. That's that's really cool. It's cool that that stuff is more readily available to the general public now. Elon oh. Musk, is that the cologne guy? Oh my god. Oh my god. Get out. Get out. That was pretty funny though. You're the worst. Look. We have to, this is the type of thing that you told me, so I'll hold up the instructions so you guys can see. You must not make jokes like that. I hate it. We're about to do a lot of this. This is kind of- I need to do this part, I'll do this part. Yeah, well, and this is the kind of stuff that like, it's fine. Like, it's fine, but I'm not- Please, make two syringes. Uh, <laughs> One for each dose. Isn't it? Three months apart. Isn't it just, you know, like how many? I It's a bunch. The answer is a bunch. And sometimes in Lego. I hope someone watches in that life, in just, 45 years and has no idea what I'm talking about. I can't wait for the point that there could conceivably be people watching anything with a reference. Shout out to 2065. No they were talking about it. Yeah. So if you're watching this from the future, know that we're so excited to be there now. Should be very pleased to be there. How many of these? So many. One, two, three. I'm going to get this wrong, I think. Four, five. Oh, and then a tie. Listen, this is where they get sneaky. This is where they sneak in a weird different thing. Don't miss the tiny different thing. They give thing. you a full step, though. I just, it, keeping track of that stuff, though. Now it's six. Yeah. Okay. Two, three. Whoa, careful. Four. One, little two, three, handy four, trick. Five, pick one up with six. each hand at the same time and count in twos. <laughs> little handy trick. Try to tune Kevin out when he goes into handy tricks. It'll, it'll increase your, <laughs> your patience enormously. <laughs> Oh, I just understood what we're building. I didn't. Um, cool. This is going to go Oh, up the Drew's in the house. Hello, like... Drew. Hi, Drew. And also that face plant. Cool. Though. I assume that's in reference to, to Newton because I think that's all Eileen is watching. Oh, absolutely. But, uh... Eileen, you're doing it correct. <laughs> you're doing everything the best. But um, his little nose. Oh, my gosh. If we can get him to sleep this long for every live stream, that'd be amazing. Well, and look at how he was... perfect he's being. Well, we just exhaust him. He must have done a face plan. I missed it, but I will watch the replay. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to have to go back and watch the entirety of Newton Cam because, you know, we're You can rewatch the live streams anytime. Um, if you have the link, it'll be up right away. If you don't have Drew the link, it, back. it can take a while to, to be available on the, like, feed, but mm -hmm. otherwise... And often I there's a, a lovely there. highlight reel that I quite like that comes out afterwards. So we've just been doing, we've been busy mm -hmm. and with a new puppy. And so we've just been doing minute ones and posting them on Instagram. Which is great. But I, I like the long ones too and having a little more. Yeah, above. you're into the longer, you like the, you well, I'm a, I'm like a, YouTube a short person. episode. I'm you a know? YouTube person and not like a. Like I will, I sit down and watch thirty minute YouTube videos. I have about the puzzles. Attention like, span. But I don't mean jigsaw puzzles. A but I, I okay. Sometimes I watch jigsaw puzzle videos too. Do you but. really? I don't know how you, man. I don't. But like they're usually interesting. Like oh, this puzzle is literally a spear. <gasps> Guys, or look like, at. Wait, just a second. Yeah, we just look at, look at. Can we get the can? How do? What's my? What should I do? What are you I'm trying gonna, to do? I just want to show you how this is You moved it working. out of view of both cameras. I did. <laughs> okay, look at. So we made this you weird up, syringe thing, I know you're and excited. it back sets. Up. I'm so excited, and it like sets in just to that little spot, and there's a tiny little hinge at the top, and then it's perfect. Ah, so satisfying. Gah. Isn't that great? Ooh, it's so good. Oh boy, now we get to do more tiny little cylindrical pieces. Great. You need Great. four for the first step. One. Two. two. Count with us. Three tiny cylinders. Four tiny so does this bring flashbacks of the most poorly uh, blind sticker in the history of our live stream? <laughs> You guys, I'm going to just pull that out for that reference. That makes me so happy. So one of our running gags. Oh. Not even on purpose. Just like, Brenda's horrible at putting stickers so on. I'm just in it. I'm actually kind of upset that they printed all these pieces. <laughs> because I would have loved, like, these are printed pieces, which is really nice. Yeah. They're um, perfect. It means, it oh, means yeah. that, like, you're not going to have them crooked. And also, they're, they're going to withstand time. True. Yeah. A lot better. Because um, sometimes they'll start curling up and get some dust on them and right. whatever. But anyways. 
I was kind of hoping there were stickers so I could watch you apply them to a set that you care about. And that's like aesthetically oh, very important. Oh, Newton's coming for us. Hi, Newt! Look out, everybody. Oh, Here good comes boy. the puppy monster. Look at that oh, little... you're oh. so perfect. Newt. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, right? He knows exactly what he's doing. Oh, perfect that's boy. That's the moneymaker right there. Yeah, exactly. Newton, you're the star. You are the star of everything. Um, I lost focus. You were talking about the stickers and watching me apply them. Oh yeah, I want to show reference. them. This is the worst sticker you've ever seen. It was traumatic. You you handled yourself very well. Kevin was traumatized. No, in the highlights video you can see the pure dread. You on my just face. the and also when you realize like it's there. Sometimes there's something you can do about it. What I did to this sticker was irreversible. It was irreversible. And you were like. I you, couldn't help you knew it. what you had done. Your, I knew. Your face was I like, knew. oh, shoot. And I knew as soon as I said it. Oh, Drew just woofed at Newton. Ow, my heart. Ow, my heart. Um, I did. I knew. And I had to tell Kevin what I had done and tell him. He was like, he didn't look at first. <laughs> so if you haven't seen this yet, oh my uh, we built this, what, a month ago maybe? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah. Really nice set. Another it was idea so set. Fun. Um, I made a big bird for my hat in that one. Really nice. Yeah, really uh, and like the back is all open. Like, all of the characters building, blah, 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 blah. building the figures in this one was some of the most joyful. Look at this. The cow. This this sticker is not meant to be like that. No, it's supposed to be straight because I'm a bad person. And she got really excited about the fact that she could get the circle sticker kind of mostly in the middle of a circle, I did. while forgetting that Lego is all based on squared. Things I did and, not uh, look at the back of the circle. I lined it up uh, to be centered, and the mo and also I had put it down completely when I realized like it wasn't even like I was part way through the process. I put it down completely, realized what I had done, and you can see the exact moment that I turned to Kevin in horror and realized. So, oh no! And I was like, Kevin, it's real. And he didn't look at first. He was like, How bad? It's really bad. I didn't realize. Um, I didn't look at this piece for about a week after we did it. Oh yeah. This is also one of your better productions. What did I do? Uh, I don't even know what I, so oh! So this is Bert's paperclip thing. Yeah. The sticker's like <laughs> hanging off the side. <laughs> Look at that. I did bad. That's horrendous. I did bad. It's one of the first times I had to buy the sticker. Look at that. <laughs> like, you're gonna have to email Lego. And I know, it. and apologize and get no, new get stickers. No, get an extra stick sticker. I'm gonna have to ask for new stickers because I ruined those ones. It was a bit, and you, I like to your credit that you had to take a devastating blow and then govern yourself in that moment. It's so a good okay. thing it happened on live stream, guys. It's like getting in trouble when your parents have friends over and they can't like fully unleash the beast on you. I would strategically like confess things that I had to unload when my parents had company. Yeah, it doesn't always work out, but every now and again, you can really get out of some trouble that way. Uh, no, I don't really care. You, well, I, I mean, I care more if I had done it. If yeah, I had done it, that's I would... yeah, that's the weird thing, eh? You were forgiving of the fact that I had no idea what I was doing, which I really didn't, and I didn't do it maliciously. I swear, I was true, absolutely all those mistakes. I was definitely trying to do it correctly and just didn't. <gasps> Guess oh. what we get to do now, Kevin? Can you guess? I don't know. More cylinders! Hooray! Six. Uh, one, two. Do we do it twice? Yeah. Four, five, six. I'm noticing a pattern emerging here. We're filling all of these like tiny little gaps and things, and it's very gratifying. Also, using, um, what are these called again? Technic pins? Yeah. This is an interesting thing when you have to like put a Technic pin in to make it swivel. That's a friction free one, I believe. Friction uh, maybe. free. It spins around. Yeah. So they, their Technic pins are color coded. Oh. And um, so the blue ones of this type, so it differs depending on what type they are, but oh. the blue ones of this type uh, do not have friction on them. I see. So it would spin freely mm. and then they make ones that do have friction which I, I can't remember what the color they are for this type, but it, hmm. it's irrelevant. Oh, that's so. interesting. Well, and it's one of those things that like, this is another thing where there's like a little bit of give at one point so that you can do something that has not a lot of leeway, I think is the intention. Cause a few of these, you really gotta, the margins of error are very thin. It goes in and then it Oh, attaches. then we're gonna fill it in from the bottom. Yeah, I think. Wait, You're I doing this out wrong. of frame is like, Unbelievable. Well, it's so disrespectful to our viewers. I know, right? Mean. 
Guys, sometimes I get distracted. There we go. I love how you got better at it once you <laughs> I did listen, not having it in my frame of vision. Yeah, like, yeah, no, something's either. wrong. Fix it, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and then we're gonna cover oh, we have a bunch of plates. What was well what was wrong? It was tricky. This was like this still has the ability to rotate. Oh. So uh oh, weird. Yeah. Did you guys see that? That whole like inset. Can so all, once like, we shift once we finish like, Yeah, can you see that? Mm -hmm. You can like Maybe kind of hard to this. see but so like this is when you this is this is partly why the sets are rated for certain ages because oh. you get steps like this where like that yeah. you really need it to be lined up at yeah. the right stage because if you get it like that uh, you know this still moves but you know it's putting stress on the pieces right. and like yeah. and if you just went in there ham fisted which is something i've definitely but done this is a before. weird connection we're going to slide it in from the bottom and then snap it and on then it snap piece. it on here are we missing a piece we're missing it? it's supposed to have one of these little guys at the top it has it oh maybe it should it have one of these as well did we miss a little i don't know a little roundy yeah okay that's mine this this one's mine I oh they both we both did it i did it too we're missing two roundies two roundies each okay oh no one roundy one roundy and then the pointy my mistake technical terms everybody yeah. technical terms you got to get your roundy get your pointy line your pointy up to the roundy and then everything will be copacetic what does copacetic actually mean i don't know you distract me with your everything phrasing that i don't want to discuss right now <laughs> the is that as bad as jazzed or worse I love using jazz around Kevin to make himself. So. Uh, okay, um, <laughs> here we go. Focus, Kevin. Mm. Uh, so we got one Focus here. Kevin. <laughs> God, get it together. Jeez, our poor viewers. We'll discuss this the later. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we have to hang out all the time. When my mom's not listening. <laughs> um, okay. Cool. Oh, it's yes. looking so good. Oh, it really is. I'm so pleased. All right, keep it going. Oh. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, we did that. Now we need little. So where's this going? Uh, down here. Okay, some of that. We need two of those and two one by Short fours. Ones. One by four. One by four. Yes. <gasps> We're almost through the next bag. This is crazy. This one, this build is going suspiciously smoothly. I have to say. Oh, I see. So now I'm with it. It's funny because this one, there's, it's another one of those points where things feel like they might be slightly loose or fragile, but then you oh, put no, in no, no. the finishing pieces suddenly. All this is all gonna, up. this is gonna tighten up at the end. Like yeah. we're gonna, okay. Well, like these are meant to be tight. Oh, is, these are meant to be on. Is it one of those things that we may like, have knocked these off at some point? Oh, this is gonna help a lot. Ah, that's why. Why? Well, these understand. these weren't link clubs. Oh, down. right at the base. Yeah. So okay. that's actually. Oh, that does everything. So these can't move anymore. Huh. That was huge. Wow. Oh, that's so but, cool. But the reason, I don't think we forgot to clamp them down. I think the pressure we've been putting on it the whole time Just as led to them pushing on the off. Side, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and it's interesting because building in this shape also makes me more confused about, like, when you're doing something that's structural versus when you're just like building onto the outside or adding more to the face, which, you know, doesn't make that much of a difference. But when you're building on the side, I don't really understand where the strain is on the piece. I don't quite, I don't know. I kind of get it, but not completely. And also, as a side effect, you guys can probably see it a little bit better, but when you like press down does it loosen some of the connections it can but in the other direction it's it it, it, it would mostly do that if something's off and it'll kind of loosen everything at once you know so if it's snapped into place it should all just hold. exactly yeah. i see yeah because you can really feel now that feels super solid and it did there was a few times that it felt a little fragile not terribly but a little bit four of these now what are you we sides. just made some of this. It's more sides. Let's just check and make sure. We'll see. Yes. Hooray! Okay, so these are gonna go on. I mean, somewhere natural up top. Here, like a sign. Oh, see, it's kind of nice also because all the colors on here line up, so it's very obvious. <laughs> oh, that's easy to connect. That's just really. 
That's just oh, a that's so great. Just push that on. It feels really Look nice. at how nice also as it matches up all the colors. I wonder if they did that. Oh, that's very it's like, good. Yeah. Oh, it fits so good and it matches up all the lines and the rockets. And like it's taking things that are like slightly, you know, there's a lot that of pressure. That swivel a little bit. Like, yeah. pull it, like even just when everything's snapped tight, yeah. um, the connections are so tight that they often like pull things. Yeah, or, like, if yeah, you put yeah, a bunch yeah. of plates together in a long tight line, it'll start to curve up a little, oh. a little tiny bit. Okay. That's just because like it's like not so much that you couldn't pull it down, but right. Like, and but it's, it's what's under happening that here. Stress, like the natural this is just like outward stress that's of like so this bending up and this bending up like in that direction, and then we're gonna put it together. And every time you snap it into place, like you can feel the entire build like set. It's like really set. smooth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so glorious. Go. So what's the? I don't understand what we're gonna. Did you forget some plates? I don't think so. They they might go down here. Oh, they're probably gonna go in there. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, so now there's actually also another very satisfying little step where we're going to get to put some more, like, lots of little covering pieces, which is very nice. Should be one more. I don't understand. And those are just extras. They're just going, like they're just this. going right there. Uh, and there's just a little inset. Ooh, that is nice. I mean, I, mean, I bet that's, like, something that's actually on the rocket or something. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Whoa. Oh, my God, it looks so good. All right. Bag five, time to thrive. Woo! Bag five! Uh, everything fits, like, exactly perfectly. Still killing it. We're still oh, Colin's back. That's why. It. Hi, Colin! Um, You're bringing the good Lego juju. He brought us up to double digits. Wow! Newton's about to take us to triple. Hi, oh, look at him go. Newton. Hey, buddy. Yes, Hi, you. Buddy. Oh, good scratches. Oh, cute. I love how big his paws are compared to his face. There's right. definitely people out there that, like, hate that we have a puppy cam. <gasps> how could you? If you do, good day to you, and sir like, or madam. They're like, that dog could be the star of a show them. called Puppies I Don't Care About. <gasps> if I ever hear anybody talking that kind of smack about Newton, best believe I'm going to throw hands. I'm going to throw hands. Things are gonna get real. Did you real say throw real. ham? <laughs> throw hams? Nice. Not hams. Nice. Not hams. Uh, I have a sneaking suspicion that I'm about to do something that I'm gonna get to do a bunch of times. Wait, I did this wrong. Yeah, Collins says for every person who hates the puppy cam, there are ten who want it full screen. Exactly. Yep. Correct, <laughs> Colin. Yep. Correct. Yeah. Next week we got full screen Newton. It's we're there. We're not even on there. Tiny, it's just rolling. Tiny sure. screen, hand builds, and then even tinier picture and picture and picture. Perfect. Kevin and Brenda face. Yeah, because we're giving the people what they want, which is puppies. Let's be real. Do we do this more than once? I bet you we do. No, maybe not. This is four times you've done. Oh, what? Is that something Where? That? Right yeah, we oh. do that four times. Oh, okay. The reason they don't tell you that is because. Oh, they do it right here. Okay. So they say four oh, times here, but, this then, is what but then you have to do this it. three times within the four times. Got it. Okay, I yep. understand. Can you do this step? I've had two coffees, and I'm just going to run it. for break time. Of course you can. Of course you can. Do you need Guys, anything? No, all my needs are met. You can take a break if you need to, with you. So far, Almost. I do not need a break because the, every, anytime you ask, me life. Like, very often when you ask Brenda what she needs, or she'll tell you if she needs, she needs something. Yeah. But even just normally, she'll say, all my needs are met. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't oh. know where I saw I must have heard that somewhere. Anything that I say repeatedly is probably something I have heard. But currently, the only thing that I need I am absolutely getting from this Lego build because all of these steps when we first started building Lego, I thought maybe I would find it a little bit infuriating to have to do some of these steps over and over and over. But one of the things that I learned as we were doing progressively more complicated builds is that I guess it seems like Lego has kind of thought of this and I'm sure that seems self-evident to you guys but it was not to me so every time you're doing sort of a longer sustained build there's something super gratifying in every bag and the bags are also separated out in a way that like lets you feel a sense of completion so that you can sustain your energy through a longer process. And it is exactly the way, I think, if you're trying to motivate yourself, that we kind of end up 
breaking up harder tasks or doing things that are more monotonous or a lot of people do it with counting like if you're getting through your day at work and you find that it's really long a lot of times you'll look at the clock and say oh I only have x many hours left or I have this many minutes and Lego has like just somehow figured out all of that about the way that people sustain their energy and made sure like if you're doing a longer build with more repetition there's minifigures in there or there's some kind of repetition I'm sure there's a team in charge of that at Lego Colin I wonder like when you think about I always think about the difference between like the brain of a Lego engineer and how much they have to work the department of soul ergonomics agree how much they would have to work to get back into the brain of a beginner user. Like imagine knowing Lego so well and so completely and you still have to get your brain to understand the way that a beginner user might look at what you've asked them to do and make it pleasing for a beginner user. That is an incredible skill set. The department of chill beans. I don't know, man. I like soul ergonomics a lot. I am into that. And I feel like that's absolutely something that should be happening at Lego. We're talking about how Lego helps you through longer builds by giving you like gratification and sense of oh, completion yeah. of tasks. And, and leaving one most important feature until the end. Yeah. Or like where they place the minifigures in the bags. Oh, did you hear that tiny puppy sound, guys? Oh my heart. Oh my heart. A lot of companies definitely can't do that. You see that in movie sequels and video games where the huge companies definitely don't understand why people like their products. It's true. And if you're a Lego engineer, I'm sure you know why you love Lego, but you have to spend so much time thinking really carefully about why everyone else loves Lego and how they would approach it. Also in my YouTube channel where I think everyone's here for the Lego and they just want the puppies. Exactly. <laughs> and it's good that you know that. You know, know your place after puppies. I'm bored dogs. Where, yeah, because Newton is a star. He also just made the cutest noise. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but it was great. This hat is getting my hair stuck in it. Isn't that the point of a hat? You want to stick your hair right in it? <laughs> but not what you want to do with your hat? Where would it's your hair be? be? My hair's just stuck under it. Look at Man, this. trying to use a camera as a mirror is when it's not mirrored. It's yeah, really hard. it's very confusing. Sometimes it gives me, especially I have to do a bunch of stuff when I'm teaching workshops because it can give me like almost like vertigo. Yeah. If I'm seeing my hands move in the opposite direction, I do. I find it very unsettling. I don't like it. And when you're trying to draw that way. Oh, no. I got you. Thank you. Where are these going? I think they're going to be fill in this little like middle spot this little naked part i think they're snapping on there see more grill more grill more fill that's what we're doing now guys also these little pieces these weird little grill pieces it turns out are going to feature prominently in all probability in our micro cities build because they are available yeah, yeah. in a surprising array of colors which was fun because I do want to do some stuff. I don't want to do stuff in like traditional city colors. Shockingly, I don't mind having gray and things as a base because I get that that makes sense. But I want weirder colors. So you meant to do four of these? Mm -hmm. Okay, so oh, then you're going to build the other ones probably mirrored. Maybe. Oh, no, so. you're not actually. No? No, no I like It looks like we have the pieces to do the same mm. thing again. Maybe then, yeah. But there must be something slightly different about them because it was Yeah, they're probably out. backwards, yeah. Um, but it's really hard to get these oriented. I'm That's glad crazy. that this isn't a thing that I'm doing. Newton is chewing the pillow. Oh. Typical. Lego does do a good job, Colin. I think it's also interesting. I find it fascinating that... Bye-bye, <laughs> throw pillow. <laughs> the camera's gone because it's being... Oh, dude, so the camera's gone because Newton is getting some... Lost his camera privileges. When we say I'm... And when we say zero viewers. Board Productions <laughs> manages us. Board Productions also manages the puppy. So if Newton Those, has a need yeah. or something, then Board Productions typically will stay. I made it very in. clear this was her Christmas gift. Yeah. Oh, I have heard a number of times. I do, I do my best to help. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's you, you do your best, Kevin. You just do your best. He loves me, but he also loves my hair and my he face. He wants to chew your face mostly, which, you know. Oh, he's playing with his Game Boy. Oh, his, his favorite toy is this little Game Boy. Game Boy. It's so cute. And it has a little video game, like a yeah, stuffed yeah. video game 
that can Chicken. go in and it's like a little it's game so to get it out. Cute. He just takes it out and plays with the Game Boy games. Well, and it is, I don't know, it's interesting. It's probably good for his little puppy brain to figure out about how yeah. that works. I don't understand how what I'm doing is any different than what I just did. Oh, uh, I think it's reversed. Oh, is it? Feels the same, but that's okay. We'll see. We'll see if I did it right. Reverse, reverse. Missed. Oh, you know what? It's that there's no little flat oh, that's true. plate in the middle. That is actually the only difference. But to Colin's point, this is the type of thing that if this was just mixed in with that previous step, a tiny like this is almost the same but not quite is the type of thing that my brain just would not notice that. And separating it out deliberately is one of the ways that Lego, I think, gets you to make fewer mistakes. Or at least notice them sooner if you make them. It's still kind of hard to like figure out what's going on. Well, this is also a complicated set, you said, eh? Yeah, this this particular part's a little weird. That's another thing I'd be curious. But basically, to know. like what's happening is that you're making, you're taking basically these two by sixes and putting them like at angles to create a circle all the way around, um, except that it's going to be left with a few spaces, which is weird. Well, something is going to happen. Just you wait. But some of them are, some of the spaces, oh, they're all these like one by two spaces. Oh, and you could fill it in with a thing. Okay, so it's basically, you're taking basically 16 plates and making a circle out of them. Ah, uh, man. Um, but some of them are filled in with these like syringes that we used before. And <laughs> like that, we're just calling them syringes. You know, you get take, the syringe piece. Take your syringe piece. They do actually, remember they used syringe pieces in the Sesame Street For set. the table legs. It was genius, but it was very weird to come up to a little, like, bag that just had a bunch of needles in the Sesame Street set. It was confusing. And, you know, it's an inner city. Sesame Street is supposed to be in a downtown core, so... What else? Uh, yeah, Bopro is the best puppy trainer. Yeah, she's actually extreme. Newton is actually a very good pup because Newton is getting a lot of very attentive puppy training. It's pretty good. He has his... Lots of positive reinforcement. Lots of repetition. Because he's a puppy. He's a little baby. He's, he's not sure. Baby. He doesn't know. He just wants to chew some hair, eat some cords, you know, get into danger and peril. But look at that face. How could you ever be upset with him? Look at him. Uh, he he does he can't really jump off of the couch. He kind of he sometimes oh he's peeing. <laughs> he has literally never peed on the couch before. Well, there you go. Now we've gotten to experience that. It's raining puppy toys. It's raining something, Eileen. It's raining something. That's so embarrassing. Wow, are you embarrassed? Gonna have to get rid of that throw pillow. Oh, well. That's not a, that was a blanket. Oh, I see. He, and Newton also, just to give you guys some context, Newton just followed behind board productions, like, looking a little, he knows that this is not ideal, what's happened. I don't think we're allowed to show people peeing on, uh, on, on YouTube. Well, listen, it might get demonetized. Banned. <laughs> there goes your giant ad revenue, so, you uh, know. You're not allowed to monetize until you have a thousand subscribers. So, guys. And have had... 4,000 hours of watch time. So if you liked this video, tell someone you liked it and make them subscribe. Did you know that? And if you hated it, yeah. I didn't ahead. know that. I thought you could just monetize a channel. No. But you need a 1,000 subscribers. And a certain amount of watch time. And 4,000 hours of watch time. There's also some other stipulations about like what type of content oh, you're yeah, putting yeah. out, fine. of That's course. Fine. But yes, absolutely. But it's really cool. interesting. It is. They, man, YouTube is definitely... But the first step is 100 subscribers when I get to have a custom channel URL. Yeah, which Instead is... Of just a random string of characters. Which is, you know, big flex. Big flex when you get to this. Who feels wrong with this piece? So when we say thanks for liking, subscribing, sharing, interacting, we really mean well, it, friends. We really mean it. Okay, so... But we feel horrible. Do we? I don't feel horrible. I do. People want to know how they can support you, and it's kind to tell them. I don't need this your support. We're doing. I did it myself when I was a kid. <sighs> Kevin means to say thank you, friends, for watching this fantastic build and keeping us company while we attach 9,000 tiny grill pieces like this. This is, the, this is the old good cop, bad cop technique. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like when you would try to strategically choose which parent you would ask for something based on who was more likely to say yes. Back in my day, I had to stream uphill both ways. Oh, That's what Colin says. Oh, Colin. In my pajamas. 
and it was on dial-up internet. And it was snow and white noise and you had the whole to time. Wait for people to be off the phone. Remember dial-up internet? Oh Let's not goodness. go down that. Oh my goodness! What a special, special time. You're a special time. I absolutely agree. Facts. I am a special time. We are almost through. I'm pretty sure I got this. I think this is our final bag for today, isn't it? Yeah. There's one thing I want to verify. Check and see. Oh, guys, this is looking so cool. So I we got two of these, this. and these are going to go here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no look at here. that. And then we're done for today. Oh, my gosh. That was in bag six. It wasn't? That was I bag five. Was. Oh, we have one more bag. We're almost yeah. done for today. Uh, one more bag. One more bag. <gasps> and I think we should do it because that'll complete, Whoa. like, I think it's going to be this section. Yes, you know? I think you're right. Here, put that on, and I'm going to get the little other I will. Get off my case. Uh, we are not supposed to have this many extras. Something's wrong. Or these. We haven't done this yet. Oh, oh, there's more on this page. Right, there's going to be another page. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I won't open bag six yet. I see. <laughs> what I was like, I was like, something's wrong. I was like, well, this is supposed to go here. Yeah. Or like the here. Yeah. It's just that these are like, these are on little hinges. And so like, they're just supposed to move. Oh. <laughs> Figure Whoa. it out. Mmm. Mm. All right, it's chocolate time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, um. And then these go right here, I assume. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. And then we just have one, this could be extra though, right? Oh. Uh, this is unreal. Guys, look at what's happening next. We're going to get to put the actual, like, boosters down at the bottom. <gasps> this is awesome. Oh, it's so cool. I'm glad that we're going to bag six because look at aesthetically how much that's going to do for how yeah. this looks. Ooh. I wonder, so we took the Newton cam away. I wonder, can the viewers still see the little green and red box in the corner? I'm I don't I don't understand the software. Oh yeah, interesting. And I'm curious if they can still see the outline of the camera. You'll be happy to hear that Bo I Pro had says way no. more leftover. That's a Bopro no. That Christmas Carol set when I was done. Enjoy foods. Thank you for. Bye, tuning Eileen. In. Thanks for hanging out. Good to talk to you. Happy holidays and whatnot. Happy Mary and all that jazz. Um, awesome. You put those in. Merry, happy, whatever. Merry, happy, whatever, and so on. You know? You know. <gasps> Turn it around. Should play a I game know. where every time we see this, this little icon, we stand up and turn around. <laughs> and just spin. Yay! Look at, this is actually the barrel. This is like a bird's <laughs> nest in a ship. And it's going to be our what? rocket boosters. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice. Cool. Yeah, put, I don't, I don't want to put the pins in. I don't know why. I don't want to. I don't want to. I want you to put those in. I mean, I don't want to. It's fine. Um, we all of, of our weaknesses. One of the, <laughs> one of the best things about building, at like, a more elaborate set is that anything that, like, I just, I think I'm going to break it or, like, I find it frustrating, I can just get you to do, which is really luxurious. I don't want I like, to do that. So, like, a lot of, I don't know, a lot of the stuff, if you, like, watch oh. videos on, like, building, making your own sets and stuff like that, there's a lot of hate on for um, huh. using big pieces. And it's like, why would you do that? You can create something a lot more detailed and tech. I love when a big piece is used Absolutely. perfectly. Absolutely. Well, remember the bottle? When we were building yeah. the bottle and it had those four... They were crazy. They were like these weird dome, yeah, yeah. quarter dome windows, and they were perfect. Right. And it was so gratifying to put it into place. And it's the same with this. But like, like to use a crow's nest, right? Like barrel top as a booster when it's like amazing. especially when it's not what it was meant for. Yeah. It's just I love it. And it's pleasing to recognize pieces 
that you've seen come up in other contexts. That's something that I didn't realize I would enjoy as much as I do. What are they doing with these pieces? These are like, these are normally like rotating pieces. Something. But here they're using them as like. Oh, I didn't open this yet. Oopsie. Maybe it's still holding oh, them crazy. in place. They're using them so it's going to go on the axle okay. and hold it in place. Okay. In this pin, that's nuts. Oh. Like, I would never. So, this is like using the Technic pin what? on the axle. Normally, this is used to turn an axle on like a gear. Or oh, weird. Cool. Um, yeah, and, and Colin, uh, Colin notes here that like, so normally these are made in brown or something like that, right? Obviously. Yeah, or like, sure. or like a nougat color. Right. And um, here, when you change the color, it just changes what you see it as. It's true. And right? instantly, like, this suddenly becomes recognizable as the base of the booster as opposed to... Only like the, only the people that actually work with Lego kind of have the right to be like, oh, I'd like this piece, but in, you know, right. purple or whatever. Right. Um, but you said sometimes every once in a while they'll do it for an idea set yep. because it... Re recolors they'll do, I think. Okay. Um, especially, if, you know, if they've already got the mold and like, it's not a big deal to introduce a piece, a new color of a piece. It's a big deal to make a fully new mold and for sure. piece number identification. Which like, is why when they did things like Big Bird and actually mold, yeah, yeah. like all of the Sesame Street minifigures are these entire, like they had to cast whole new molds to, oh no, I haven't, uh, to get it's it to one. fit into the Sesame Street universe, which makes total sense yeah. in like the fandoms that they collaborate with. But for something like this, I love that I can recognize what this is and how it's being used. I think that's part of that sort of overall visual language that I actually find really, really pleasing. Ooh, okay. So I do not recognize any of these pieces. That's interesting. Yeah, these are weird pieces. These are I mean, weird. these are things you could use for like a sleigh or like, Okay. I don't know. They're weird. Cool. Um, so there's some weird like. Oh, it's just a. Uh, it doesn't. You just put it on like it's. Oh. This is the joint that has like ten <gasps> different positions. These are these are great. Um, they can be kind of subject to interesting over time. Like the there's there's pretty the high friction, friction when you move down? it, and they can wear down. I see. Um, but they're usually meant to be in a specific position. Okay. Uh, not to be used as hinges. So you like adjust yeah. it during the. They build, also but they then provide it. significantly more support if you have something like with that's that's on a hinge, but like hanging out. This is much firmer. So typically like on those, those I don't know if people can see those dragons that move. Put, oh, duck yeah. your head down. But like the, I made some dragons in the background. One of them is kind of, you can go back up now. One of them is kind of a set that I modified and the other ones are um, the full custom dragons. But like their necks or their wings, you can't just put on normal hinges because they're right. so far out that there's right. enough like, and there's heavy enough like torque or whatever to, to pull it down on its own. And mm. so you need to use these, something like this basically. I see. There, um, yeah, this is some but crazy. But these are going to go on like this, I guess. I don't know what the purpose of those little pieces is, but I'm not sure. I think we're going to hook something onto them. Yeah. Yeah, it's but definitely just go we're like right to setting up. Or, or, oh, no, this is like exterior, though. So, oh, so these are going to be visible from like when we view it as, as the viewer. Ooh. As, as, as the viewer. As one viewer does. As one viewer does. When one is the viewer, as one viewer does. The way I see it. Oh boy. Let's talk about it. In my view. In my view. Okay, this Ooh. is definitely. A you can tell we're getting tired. I'm getting confused. This has felt like it's moved faster though. Yeah, it has. I think we did this, but well, and also, you know, like you said, there's some bigger pieces. Is this right what I've done? This thing? One, two, three. I don't know. Oh, and then we have to, yeah, I think it is. We might have to rotate that slightly. But we need five of them. And I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do that same thing. This is another weird, this is a weird, set. weird piece. Man. This part is a little bit confusing, but I am feeling full of self-esteem because of my 
spectacular success so far in this build rate. Okay, so this is going to go on here, I guess, and just like sit. What's the deal with this thing? Okay, just turn this. We're going to have to, I think I might be. It just sits on here. I'm putting it on in a way that might, like it might have to be rotated a little bit. I'm not totally sure. I think it's going to be okay. This is Let's weird. See. I guess it just goes like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird, but oh, uh, oh, I'm off a little bit. There we go. Okay, that makes that feels a little better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the way I'm putting it together, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. It. I it's can't just tell like I'm not exactly sure. Thing. Yeah, same. Okay. Like here. Oh. Like, like this piece, you can't even see. So like I picked. Well, okay, oh. but presumably it doesn't matter which way it's oriented, yeah. so I'm gonna yeah, go like yeah, this. Yeah. I get it. That's a weird. That's There's a, weird a few one. strange connections in this portion. Oh, where it's like, oh, it's what's okay. The important part here, which actually I think you're off on this one, okay. is where this is relative to the cross. Oh. Ah, so you're meant to put them on two away from the arrow, or oh, you're meant to put them on an arrow on an arrow side. Oh, I see. So they have, uh, Got it. They've so these it. little web pieces have eight sides and um, four of them have an arrow to allow you to know whether they're in line with the cross or not. And these you want them not to be in line with the cross. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> sort of. Sort of. I got it's, it. It's weird. It took me a second to understand because I realized they have more than one little arrow and I had a moment of like, wait. This is the part where everyone leaves. <laughs> <laughs> now we're really where going into the weeds of yeah, this build. Where you like have to focus really hard and yes. then. Yes. My brain is doing so much. It's trying really hard right now, guys. You're killing it, Brent. I know. It's going very well. I am very happy with how this build is going, I must say. It's making me very gratified and excited to see it oh no no one's gonna see that but bunny i just bone? Drew, no no just that outside like bony bone. mm. i just drilled it on the corner of another that. desk yeah i don't like seeing the whoopsies terrible terrible it's okay I, oh i get i, I ate it understand. on the ice the other day kevin was, had an injury i was running with the dog and then he slipped on the sidewalk you and so i hobbling and like i didn't slip then he slipped but then i was like okay so i stepped off the sidewalk and, and was gonna water. run on the road yeah and you were walking like you broke no, in your but head. then i was like running with him and then i slipped on some ice it was like hidden under like the tiniest layer of snow and i just like went flying and landed straight on my hip uh and my knee and my ankle like my whole right side and i dropped the leash he freaked out he started screaming and like ran back to ashley and i came i, I came inside and went straight to bed <laughs> <laughs> well because it was terrible and i was hobbling for the next day yeah and it was but, really kevin was walking like his entire leg was just completely straight like he was trying not to use his hip at all, which is a very awkward way to walk. Colin, oh man, I was running around the house. We have a floor plan that includes a circle through several rooms, and I was wearing socks, which is unusual. Tripped on dog bed, stumbled over dog, beat it, nailed both knees and an elbow and a finger. This is yep. terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my pinky ow, finger. Wow, 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 wow. My pinky finger, too, I landed on. That's awful. That, page 91, if you're building this set, She's is a doozy. by far the hardest one. She's a doozy. You gotta pay attention. All right, let's go. Okay, let's do this. Five We're times. Doing stuff five times we do at five times. That uh, makes me think of the Liverpool football. <laughs> That's song. funny because we have five concurrent viewers and five likes. Perfect. Guys, thank you for making everything come together in that magical way. Look at this. This is interesting. <laughs> Did you see Colin wrote, it's true. Kevin does use his hips a lot when he walks. <laughs> Yeah, it's very swivelly, naturally. So it definitely limited his mobility. Hi, New. Like my hips, hi, he doesn't buddy. lie. Are you gonna Are you gonna say hi? Are you gonna come say hi to the live stream? Puppy Cam. Oh, hello, goodest boy. All right, hello. I'll do the rest. Hello, goodest boy. No, you may not chew my hair. 
hair. No, you may not. Uh, yeah, he loves hair. He really likes hair. And interaction and chewing hair is a pretty He's good a husky. Way to get He's like part husky and he like <gasps> No, you got to chew your toy. You no, you got to chew your toy. Not for you. Not for you. He's very uh gentle though. Even though he likes to chew, he never does it like hard really. I mean maybe when he's super super excited and just can't handle his life but for the most part he's pretty gentle handle your life newton handle Come your on. life pop dog yeah yeah and also when you grab his little face he tends to give up pretty quickly because it's he, true yeah, yeah. just you know he like wants to play. it's like he's classic husky yeah. basically and some he of it when he, when he's like focused and like yeah can't really control his Energy and he just wants something so bad. But you don't earrings then, yeah. too. Sometimes he'll chomp on earrings. Hey, what is he doing? Yeah, it is interesting. He's waiting That's for an true. opening to eat my hair. Yeah, or your Lego pieces. No, nope, it's always my hair. Sometimes he wants. Sometimes he wants the little wrappers, the little bag, are also interesting to him. Yeah, you're a good boy. You've been so good during live stream. Everybody loves you most of all. Yeah. So sweet. Yeah, everybody loves so you. So sweet. They were so happy to see you. All they right. were so happy to see you. Yeah. We need four of these. And we need, okay, we've lost Brenda, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, four of those. Eight of these. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. Welcome to Counting Pieces with Kevin. <laughs> Maybe, pieces of maybe we should do a live stream of just organizing pieces. Ew, you can do that one. Oh. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, no, you cannot have. Uh, no, Colin's, cannot Colin's have. doing the minifigure puzzle right now. Are you? Are you going to stand all your minifigures on it when you're done? Oh, I'm going to flip you. Should we compare there. who has more of the minifigures? That's the question. Who do you think has more? You or Colin? Probably me. I don't think he's a minifigure. <laughs> Do I'd be surprised if he now? collects okay. the minifigures, but maybe he does. I don't know. Um, I think I've got somewhere between 20 and 30 of them, I think. I have none of them. <laughs> what do you mean you don't? You don't have any of them? How is that possible? Call yourself a, a, a fall. He does not call himself an a fall. Uh, listen, you have a legion of Collins. How am I supposed to tell which one? Not, well, no, he's whatever. the one you're thinking of, but he, he has a not... lot of Lego, but uh, he would never call himself that. Oh. He's Because oh. he's... He's too cool for school. Oh, I see. I didn't realize. I didn't realize he was too yeah. cool for school. Is it not cool to want all the minifigures? Because I definitely... Well, no, it's just figures. like not that... I don't know. Like, he could either... Okay. Uh, no, some of them are from sets. Um, I think some of them are like some throwbacks to old sets, like from before you started doing stuff. Um, there's some from like the branded like city or... Like by branded, I mean... There's none from like... Um, there's none from ones with like intellectual property, like Star Wars or mm. or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, but they do have the Lego kind of themes, like hidden side ones and yeah. Just He's, some funny costumed ones too. Like yeah. they're really cute. A lot of bright, colorful. But they're not. Of. They're not all only from the collectible minifigure series. Yeah. Ones. I um, love it though. It's actually really. Pleasing. Actually, there is like a Wookiee type thing in one of them, but I don't. Is it must it? not be the Star Wars one. Well, oh, that's weird. What would I mean, man? They probably paid big bucks to get the rights from George Lucas, so they probably want to use it as often as they could. Did you drop something? Yeah, I think so. I caught it. She Good dropped something. Job. And I caught it. Um, but that would probably just not include other, like that. That's like a color, like licensing. You mean? Exactly. Yeah. It might not extend to jigsaw puzzles. Makes sense. Well, and the puzzle itself, like, with the actual little figures standing on it is very satisfying. All right, I gotta figure out where this goes. Figure out where it goes. Also, this is one of, another one of those times where this is the first time, well, maybe the second time, that there's just, like, kind of a normal brick. It's shocking to me. Oh, you think it's Wolfman? Maybe. That would make sense. It oh, looks okay. like Chewbacca, but that could easily be the That's case. That's fair. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of, um, just, like you know some of their like professions like the yeah yeah athlete or the teacher or something or the cake so man cute. yeah exactly the cake man adores <laughs> no not the baker the cake man. <laughs> the guy jumping out of a cake exactly very different that's a job too you know you gotta have hustle to jump am i out doing of the cakes. right thing here 
Yes. Oh, we're gonna do the. We're probably gonna do the same thing again. Does that make sense? There's just just pieces. opposite. Yeah, you're doing it again, but opposite. Okay, so the this comes out this way. Got it. Cool. That this makes is actually sense. kind of a. It's an annoying step because there's nothing holding these on, and so mm. if you put enough pressure, they'll just pop up. Yeah. Slightly annoying. There's a couple of things that we've done just in the most recent steps that I'm. This is the part where like it would actually be part. easier to just put it up. So I'm just. Gonna there you go, smart guy. Put it up. Put up with it. Both. Ashley and I chant that to each other when we're doing annoying things. Put up with it. Yeah. That's really funny. That, but that's a great way to just motivate yourself. Make it hilarious. Oh, maybe something different happens because I don't see any more. Oh, oh, wait. No, never mind. I figured it out. Sometimes I look at a step and think it can't possibly be the case because I've run out of that type of piece. When that happens, the problem so far has always been me. It has never, in fact, been that the step is. Oh, wrong. I have a question for you. When do you want to build the rest of this? Now. No, I'm just kidding. Um, next Saturday, if not before. Well, it's, so. it's either it's either tomorrow or Saturday, probably. Okay, I don't think tomorrow, so that it's probably gonna have to be next. Saturday. I mean, it could be a weekday, I guess. But... That's true. Well, we'll reevaluate for now. We'll go, say next Saturday. Let's just go next Saturday. Yeah. Because that'll it. take us to almost time when new Lego sets come out. Yeah. I might have a new, um, yeah, basically we've been thinking about what are we gonna build because like through January. I've got the Nintendo set. Um, that I want to build, but I don't. Re I want to build that on my own to That's enjoy. That's a long build. It's a long build, and yeah. like I want to, I want to film and um, film the kind of intricate parts and like do a yeah. proper video on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of my first. I think that makes more sense. Actual like video tour. undertaking. Yeah, tour. Um, and then, but uh, I did just order a little rocket set Ooh, that I was telling you about. Yeah, that, that I'm gonna cool. build and then and modify. modify into a ride for my amusement park like one of those old like motion simulators that I you would like go and sit in and like lot. it would like shake around with a with like a, a, a screen in front of you and like oh, feel like you're on something so fun. i think it'd be pretty funny to it make one of those cool. and even in on the inside like build a, a screen that's like yeah. show, showing some yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. super pixelated version of something yeah. maybe like maybe like of a roller coaster but like oh a that's way awesome. worse one than oh, the roller coaster that. that they could just go on right there. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> glorious to me. And also, like, that's exactly the type of, like, it's a build, but also a little bit of a customization. I think exactly. That and that's, like, exactly helpful. what I what I do. Doing that with the ornaments was really fun. We got to build them as they actually are, but then we just got to completely deviate, and that was very enjoyable. Oh, no, but that's just building something. It's true. It wasn't it really modifying ball. it. Oh, yeah. So you got it right. We do that. And then... So that's the whole... This they all get there. pushed inward. They were already... Oh, they're not pushed... Oh, wow. Oh, down? Yeah. Wait, what? How is that possible? No. No. What does it? How are this? It's... What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this. Let's see. Oh! Oh. Okay, it would have been easier to just do that in the first place. Well, I was putting them on and then putting the and then like pulling them. Maybe that's because that could actually be how it eventually detaches, so that you can say they want you to know. No, that they can just possible. detach anyway. Well, let's it's see. it's so that they leave you enough space. Like if I had left this down, it'd be a little harder to put this one on. I see. But it is satisfying to push them together. This push is them cool. toward push them towards each other. Oh, and it has that little like stiff connection, so they yeah. kind of click into place. Oh, I love how it looks. So Almost there. Much. Keep going. Ooh. All right, so we'll build the rest of this on uh, Saturday, next Saturday, yeah. whatever that date is. Which also means that in the interim, we might get to scheme a little more about our micro cities build. That's going to be super fun. Also, you said that some things are harder to get a hold of. Sorry, right what? now, would like to buy. There's certain we're Lego done. sets that. You oh, basically are everything's to... sold out online, and and Ontario. It just demand like. We, like I can't just go to the Lego store now, or even like because it's in a yeah, mall. Yeah. Yeah. And Ontario's on lockdown. So. Yeah, we have a little little while of lockdown coming up, so it is time to get. <gasps> but our our city in. is doing well. But our city is doing well. Matter. But that's um, okay. No big deal. We can do it. We got lots of Lego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Also. That means that I can, for the first time, delve into the world of Bricklink, which I have been learning about. And it is a fascinating, 
magical experience to go onto Bricklink and look at all of the possibilities for sets that exist. So Colin was saying that so um, the Nintendo set yeah. uh, has two discrete parts. Yeah, I, I did open it up to just kind of get a feel for it. And it has two instruction booklets. Ah, here we go. They're right oh, okay. here, actually. Um, so two, so he's saying this part here would be reasonable to build on stream. Okay. Uh, oh, that's cool. That would... It is a lot of just gray and whatever, but it's also quite nostalgic. And, you know, it, it does have um, some interesting stuff where, like, the cartridge goes in and you move that's it. That's cool. It He's is saying also... this part is really clever and intricate, right. but it's also, like, really time-consuming okay. to get all the details right. This is the part where the screen scrolls and the Mario goes up and down. And it's that, insane that, that. to me that that set exists. I find that fascinating. I do think as kind of, like, a more in-depth tour, that totally makes sense because just the, the, yeah. the mechanics of that build. But I do want to spend some Ooh. time on my um, finally piecing together, figuring out, designing how I'm going to make my pirate ship swing um and if it needs it might need to be a little smaller if i'm gonna do that i'm excited the, so like, about that yeah i mean i am too it's just it's gonna take some work right um and like welcome to brenda moves it out of frame <laughs> look look what i'm doing guys look it i love just it for you this thing like it's this thing's already tall yeah i love it right it's gonna be super annoying um well, yeah, we, can, we don't. It's, how are we gonna film this? Well, it'll be easy because it'll be two parts, or like, oh, it, like true. it's just gonna be like, <clears throat> yeah, true. And we won't have to like. I don't know how much we'll have to stand. We might have to stand it on the floor for some of this, guys. This is the biggest. It's the biggest Lego set ever. I have the biggest Lego set. This is not the biggest. It's Lego the set. biggest Lego set, and I have it. It for me. That is for me. The biggest Lego set, or the most pieces, is, is the Coliseum. Mine. Oh, man. That Coliseum, though. That would be... I mean, I think it would be pretty boring to watch. Uh, yeah. It'd be cool, I'm sure, but the the amount of repetition... Yeah, I think there's a lot of... Dude. Cool. I mean, it's gorgeous. Yeah. It's such a good reproduction. Sure. Also, didn't you say that that set's good for... Um, were you saying, like, building pieces or so? There was something about, like, the types of pieces that come in. Oh, look. No, no, no. Look at the little fins. I'm trying to show something. What? Did I put something on backwards? I did. <laughs> it's, it's, well, it's, okay, A, it's upside down. And, like, and, and B, it's on the wrong right. side. Wait, what? How's it upside down then? Um, you know. That means you have the colors wrong too. That's also entirely possible. You got all the other ones right. Well, you know, it doesn't mean I'm going to get it right consistently. It just means it has happened before that I got it right. It could just as easily happen that I don't get it right, you know? You know. Also, listen, think about the sheer number of not mistakes that I've made over the course of this right. build. I was overdue. I'll give you that. Right? could have been disastrous instead it was only medium inconvenient it was Ta-da. funny instead it was funny instead it was funny hello mary joe peltier will we blast off MJ. next saturday absolutely yes we're gonna build the rest of this next saturday also mj i don't know if you were here so but we had a uh we had a camera on newton he was so cute he was sleeping for almost the entire thing mm -hmm. could we get a could we get a shot of newton for mary jose rolling around he was like just scrolled. if if not it's fine it's fine, it's fine. he was being um crazy. oh oh she saw you were watching the whole time and this didn't say the hi first time she's oh uh, that's okay now newton is being perfect on the ottoman um that's awesome nope. <laughs> we just got a uh <laughs> from uh board productions that means newton did oh we can we saw him for two seconds yeah that's good. That's, That's amazing. Good. Highlight reel of dog peeing on couch, please. <laughs> I I forgot that that happened. I did it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. That's I'm the, so pleased. the first. I mean, it's because we've been streaming for. Yeah. Oh my god, he did so good. Oh, he was awesome. You are his humans were being so boring, and he was being so patient. You know. Uh, guys, I want you to know I'm doing something Kevin would never tolerate, which is that I'm taking a guess as to where these final pieces well, go. Well, it's probably not that bad. It's probably not that bad because there's only a few spots right now that anything can fit onto anything because so much of the little studs are covered, so. There we go. Yeah! Guys, this is... I'm so thrilled with so, how this looks. 
I can't yeah. tell you. So here we go. Uh, this is, I mean, on its own, maybe 45 centimeters. Sure. Um, and like, it's awesome. It's so far. gorgeous. It also, I, there were a number of very interesting build techniques that I like, had never used before. I really look how like circular that. that is. It's crazy. And it's just got like the right amount of detail to it. Like the outside has little details, but it's still got that Lego aesthetic. I'm oh, you couldn't see my so eyes going like this. No way. Oh, good job. Yeah, very, um, very pleased. Very meta telescope. Very meta telescope. I wonder if there's a telescope shaped like a rocket anywhere. Uh, there should be. If there isn't, we should build one. Billion dollar idea. Sitting on a gold mine. Um, so there you have it. This is the bottom portion. I love this thing. Or I already love it so much. Depending on how you think what's up is down. Depending on how you think the universe rotates. Colin says six more bags. Given six that you've used a period bags. and not an exclamation point, I'm going to assume you're not actually enthusiastic, even though your caps is being used, but I suspect that's irony. Punctuation matters. It <laughs> shoots leaves. Um, indeed. Um, so that'll do it. That's the first half of this. Uh, yeah. We're going to build the rest next Saturday. We also probably will have made some progress, at least in talking about making progress well, more, on the little, micro city. Yeah, some little like micro city prototypes maybe. We'll see if we fiddle around with that a bit more. Also, let's special shout out to Board Productions for yes. managing Newton and Newton Cam. Guys, I don't know if you know the cam is one thing, but the puppy is another entirely. She's managing that. She's managing us. She's managing all of it. So yeah, shout out to BoPro, making it happen. So enjoy. I hope everyone's getting a break of, from things. Mm -hmm. Um, we're glad you all joined us. Yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. Happy Boxing Day. Happy Saturday. Happy Lego Build Day. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Instagram at I'm Bored Toys. You get sweet pics. Sweet pics. Follow Art me. Art, Art and Jest. Jest. YouTube channel. Instagram. All Facebook. Love me the social. Patreon. Da, 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 My da. Patreon is actually named after uh, different types of stars. That's Ever true. Yeah, hypernova, supernova. You're a supernova. I think I'm a supernova. You Bo are supernova. Bopro is a hypernova. Yeah. Yeah. She likes you more than I do. She does. I mean, guys, she's not wrong. But I've been supporting longer. So. Yeah. Well, there you go. It all balances out. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, friends. Love you all. Mwah. I'm bored. I'm not. <laughs> See you next week. Goodbye.